Hey there, Wargamers, and welcome to today's Warhammer 40k Battle Report. Luca here from MiniWarGaming.com. It will be Black Legion against the Sisters of Battle, specifically the Bloody Rose. We play and call it work. Mini Wargaming's Warhammer 40k Battle Report. Today, I will be piloting the Black Legion, and leading it, we have Harkon Worldbreaker. We spent a command point for his Warlord trade. He must take Lord of Terror. I'll explain what this does in further detail, but you can assume it manipulates morale stuff. And uh, he comes with his fancy claw and his fancy spear and his jump pack, and he helps Raptors, though. So I, got, I built the list kind of around him. A thousand points, so we don't have a whole lot of wiggle room. Now, we do have a second HQ here, because we're playing a battalion. We can take one of those. We uh, have a... Master of Possessions. I had to borrow Steve's because I couldn't find the Black Legion one, so you have to forgive me. It's a he's on loan from the Iron Warriors. Now, moving on to the troops, we're going to be running three units of Legionnaires. We have all Astartes in this list. No cultists here. And then moving on to Fast Attack, we have two identical units of Raptors. Now, the champions will have a Plasma Pistol and a Power Sword because what you see is what you get on them. And we got a pair of melta guns, one in each squad, and the rest will just have their Chain Swords and Bolt Pistols. Uh, why am I bringing raptors? Well, I got a Harkin World Claimer, so he kind of he likes to interact with them. It's not the best choice, but it's a thematic choice, and it should be kind of fun uh, to play with jump units on a smaller table. And lastly, we have a unit of Haddocks. They are going to be marked by Nurgle uh, to give them a little bit more durability. And then that's uh, four last cannons, and then the sergeant or the champion will have a chain sword and the flamer as a, like the standard loadout on them. And that will be the Black Legion forces. Let's go take a look at the Bloody Rose. What we have here is a Bloody Rose good list, We're starting with a Cannoness with uh, her Warlord trait, granting her an extra Miracle Die just for herself. Her Relic allows her to reroll one Miracle Die uh, in a, a battle for round. Uh, and uh, her uh, Miracle ability is Beacon of Faith. In the troop slots, we have two basically barebone units of Battle Sisters, five models, both with a Simracum and a Baby, because gotta love them rerolls, or uh, Miracle Die options rather. Then we have a 10 model unit of Novitiates. In the elite slots, we have two four model units of Repentia. And of course, in the non slot elite options, we have a Repentia Superior to give the Repentia some bonuses, a Hospitaller to give me a little more survivability, and a Dialogus with the relic that allows her to cast two uh, hymns rather than one. In the fast attack options, we have a six model unit of Seraphim. Uh, two with hand flamers, and the battle si and the sister superior has a plasma pistol and a power sword, and a five model unit of Zephram. Uh, the sister superior, of course, having the pennant and a plasma pistol. In the heavy support option, I have a retributor squad uh, with a simulacrum, four multi meltas, and the sister superior toting a power maul, and the sister superior toting a chain sword and a combi flamer. Never know. Uh, Holy Trinity might become a thing, and one Armor and Cherub. Lastly, I have a dedicated transport Rhino to get those novitiates up the board right fast so they can get choppy choppy in the face. And with that, that sums up the Bloody Rose forces and the armies all together. Let's swing over to the mission and find out what Trevor and I are playing. We will be playing the sixth incursion mission from Warzone Nephilim. This is Surge of Faith, a very fitting mission for the Sisters of Battle in particular, as they defend the Imperial planet against Harkon and the forces of the Black Legion. Now, in this mission, it is a take and hold primary objective. There will be four objectives, as you can see here, and you'll gain four points for holding one, four for holding two, and four for holding more than your opponent for a total of 12 per turn there. And obviously, you can't score that until the second battle round. Now, the second primary will be a Surge of Faith. The signal has been received. The time for the assault is at hand. You must advance swiftly into no man's land to prevent your opponent seizing the battlefield. To fail is to bring shame and show a severe lack of faith. Now, this will be an action-based primary objective here. It's progressive. Uh, and every time you complete uh, the Surge of Faith action, you'll score a number of victory points based on which objective you perform it on. Now, this is only done once per turn for one unit. And it starts at the start of your movement phase and finishes at the end of your turn. So you have to start your turn there. Unless your objective secured, you can do it at the end of your movement phase in that case. So our troops in this case can move on to the objective and perform the, uh, the Surge of Faith. And you gain more points based on how far away the objective is from your deployment zone. Uh, we'll start with the furthest one away. So the one in your opponent's deployment zone is worth four victory points every time you complete it. And then the one closest to no man's land to their deployment zone will be three, and then the one closest to your deployment zone will be worth two. You cannot do the one in your own deployment zone. 
and then that is it. Of course, we will have the Battleforge CP bonus in this game as well, because it's Warzone Nephilim, so we'll both be gaining command points on both players' command phases. And it will be a hammer and anvil style deployment, 10 inches up the board, 24 inches apart from one another, which is quite fitting for a nice little incursion game. And Trevor and I have deployed here. We're gonna go ahead and show you a little bit of our deployment. We rolled off, uh, I lost, but Trevor made me pick a place first. So I deployed over here on this side of the battlefield and Trevor took the other side with the Sisters of Battle. And you can see the four objectives. Boom, 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 right there. We had 10 inches of deployment. And then I have my Havocs back here, Master of Possessions. This will be a Bolter Squad with the Plasma Gun. We have Harkon up here with the two Raptor units up, and ab uh, up above and down below getting some cover, but staying a little bit further back. We have the Chainsword Black, uh, sorry, Legionnaire Squad. Then we have the Bolt Gun Legionnaire Squad behind them. Nothing is in reserve. And then what do you got over here on this side, Trevor? Battle Sister Squad, Battle Sister Squad, my Retributors, Repentia. I got a Repentia in the building. My Warlord and Canoness is sitting just inside the corner there. Nice. Repentia Superior, just in range in order to potentially buff either unit. And they got the Dialogus here in order to uh, throw some buffs out in this area. Uh, I got my Novitiate sitting in the transport, and I think that, oh yeah, in the course of the hospital are sitting over here just uh, giving them some well needed five up, or uh, six up in low pains. Doctor Lady there, and then in re reserves you have the Unit of Zephyrum and the unit of Zephyrum. All right, they're ready to show up on turn two. And with, you know, Miracle Dice making it, uh, if you need the charge, you probably get the charge. Uh, and then that should be it for deployments. I do want to go over some of the terrain we have here on the table. If anyone's curious, the mat is from Game Mat. So it's your 44 by 60 inch mat. Uh, we're using half of it now because we're playing incursion. So the cutoff is where you can see all the all the terrain is here. So we won't, we won't be playing past this line. Boop, boop, boop. This part of the terrain's right off the mat there. And then a lot of the terrain here is just Games Workshop kits do various ruins. Obviously using the ruin uh, rules, ruin wall rules. This is just going to be essentially the same thing. And then we have this fallen uh, Imperial Aquila there will be a crater equivalent. And that's, that should be about it for the terrain here on this part. I do want to remind our several vault members, you have access to many, many discount codes uh, to various terrain companies, including battle mats, uh, just general terrain, hobby supplies, models, game map being one of them, battle uh, table war for battle mats and all that stuff. There's well over 50 companies now. So if you're thinking about upgrading your terrain collection or your battle mat collection or just hobby supplies in general, I bid you go check that out on the vault section of the website. You do not need to be a Silver Vault member to look at it, but you do need to be a Silver Vault member to benefit from it. And uh, it would be well worth it, especially if you're buying a lot of terrain. Anyways, folks, Trevor and I are going to go ahead and roll off to go first to see who starts this game. But first, I just remembered, actually, we should probably go over our secondaries. I'll go over the Black Legion ones first. Uh, I went with the Long Mort. So that's pretty much take objectives from the enemy, kill enemy units on objectives, play the game, essentially. It scores some points here and there. We're playing the Black Legion, so we're going to have some fun in playing uh, the Black Legion specific secondary, which is a uh, to spoil the battlefield which is uh, performing actions on objectives. Uh, the only downside is it takes an entire battle round to complete it. So I start it and I complete it in my next command phase. And then if I, I get one point for doing one in my deployment zone, I get four points for any other one. And I could do the same one over and over again. I could just do it on this one, one point, one point, one point, one point if I wanted to, or four points, four points, four points, or you know, four points for that one, four points if I get that one. But the, 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 the major downside is why it takes so long is it's a despoiled area. So if an enemy tries to perform an action on said objective, they only succeed their action on a four up if I've already despoiled that area. And lastly, we're gonna go for assassinate because there's a number of characters amongst the systems of battle. So if I even kill a couple of them, I'll get some good points for it. It's harder to score secondaries and incursion missions. So even getting to like six to eight's not too, too, too bad. And that's it for me. Now, what about you, Trevor? What'd you end up going with? Okay, well, uh, first and foremost, I took Defend the Shrine. Uh, Sisters ones are pretty good for that. And all I gotta do is sit on an objective, which I pick right about now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> speaking of which, uh, this one over here, I we're gonna make that one right there, my sacred, uh, uh, my, uh, the, yeah, uh, Trevor yep. has to pick one of the ones not in his deployment zone. So yep. obviously he's not going to pick this one over here. Uh, he'll gain progressive points for score, uh, defending it throughout the game. That, and bonus points if you have certain units on it, I believe. Uh, maybe I could be wrong. That's, that's, uh, no, I just got to, uh, okay. Uh, truth of the matter is I just have to hold it. If at the end of the game you hold it, yeah. I lose three points. I guess so I got to at the end of the game try and force you off of that one. Which will be easy or hard depending on who goes first or second naturally. And then you have Leap of Faith as well. How does that one work? Uh, Leap of Faith is just, it's again, it's pretty... Uh, straight up I do my own uh, miracle die thing and that's really about it and you get yeah 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 if I do at least two in my turn I gain one if I do two in yours I get 
two points. If I manage to do more than, if I do three or more, I get one extra point no matter whose turn it is. Right. And that one caps out at 12, but it's yep. relatively easy. That's like super easy to accomplish. Yeah, I know. Nice, yeah. And then finally, I took uh, research Nephilim data. So again, it's the table quarter outside of six of uh, uh, the border and, uh, you know, put a six model unit on there and it auto passes. Exactly. So he's going to do some shadow operations, performing uh, miracles and defending that area. That's what Trevor wants to do. I wanted to spoil the objectives. I want to kill the characters. We got Harkin World Claimer. That's kind of a cool thing. That's I picked that mostly because he likes to kill characters. That's what his like narrative thing is, uh, or like, his rules are based around that. And then the last one was uh, just to keep, play the game. So like, do, do chaos stuff, kill things, long war. You know, chaos. We, we, we love the long war. Trevor and I are going to roll off to see who must go first. Trevor's going to get a six. Oh, 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 oh. I got a five. So it will be Sisters of Battle turn one. Yes. Now, not two. I don't want to go in second. I'd like to, actually, I don't even know what I'd like to do. I, I'm going second. I don't have a choice. <laughs> And taking a look at the command points, uh, Trevor has two relics and a warlord trait, so he started at zero, but he gains one right now. I had a relic and a warlord trait, so I started at one, I'm up to two. Command face, my army wide one, I gain a, oh, that's always good to have. That's nice, that's a five for Miracle that's Dice. That's five. And then lastly, uh, my relic, or sorry, not my relic, my warlord trait on my cannon S. So she gets one specially, uh, specifically for her to use as a three. That's, oh, that's for her alone? Yep. Gotcha, gotcha. So she can do something specifically with hers, and that can be even used in order for her miracle ability to go off. Does that, uh, does that work in your, does that last your next command phase? Yep. And you gain one every command then, phase, yeah, gotcha. It, she regenerates one every command phase. That's neat. Yep. Okay, so the candidate's is going to use your Rada office in order to make it so the retributors uh, can uh, get rerolls of one to hit. Okay, even though, yeah, they're, they're yeah. further so, away. So even if they stay, even if they go outside of her six inch range, they can still do it. Cool. It's really cool. Uh, where's your Psyker just like here? My no, Psyker is way over here. Oh, okay, we're, then this is just all the more reason. All right, so first and foremost, she is going to attempt to improve their invulnerable save by one, granted <laughs> by Leap of Faith. I see, gotcha. Yep. So, on uh, a three up. Oh, she's like a chaplain? A yeah, chaplain? Gotcha. exactly. So they get a buff. So they have a five up uh, Shield of Faith? Yep, nice. and she's gonna make it so that uh, any Psychic debuffs that are on are immediately purged, and they cannot be the psychic, ah. or target of psychic powers until uh, so no the end. Uh, yeah. Ah, nice. Which is really great, because you know if they're then the closest enemy unit to you, they would be, yeah. auto fail smite, since they cleared that up too in, in the new uh, new FAQ. All right, so again, oh, all right, so sick. they are buff buffed. They're good to go. All right, uh, so just just to say that she's done it so I don't forget, uh, yeah, we'll put it on We'll put it on them. No, yeah, Revenge so. of Superior is going to buff them up to charge better. Yep. In the movement phase, starting here, we have the Sisters of Battle moving on to the objective. They just, it extends a little bit past the ruined wall there, as per you know, the way I set up the train. And they're going to start performing the Surge of Faith action on this objective. Yep. We'll do that at the, at, the, end, at, the, at the end of the movement but phase. Just yep. before we forget, that's yep. what they'll do. So, right. Rhino's going to advance. I'm going to spend my five Miracle Die in order to just... Oh, make you go very far. Yep. Gotcha. So that gets me 17, but I'm charging over that crater, so I only get 15. Right up to, wow, just right in my face. I like it. Yep. Nice. Nice. <laughs> After the rhino surges forward, these battle sisters move forward, staying six inches away from this battlefield edge and, th or, sorry, not th this table quarter and this table quarter, so they can retrieve Nephilim data for that table quarter. All right, so to show some of the other movements, the retributors moved forward, up with the battle sisters, the doctor, doctor. Again, advancing. And then our uh, Canoness advanced three inches with her Miracle Die. Uh, thus, with the advance over here, completing a Leap of Faith. So that's, uh, two, that's one victory point so far uh, for that secondary. And then that's pretty much it. We have a couple other things la lagging back there. And then we're keeping the, uh, the Repentia. Uh, in fact, is like a, if anything commits to the middle, they can counter charge. All right. Uh, ideally. And then technically at the end of the move phase, they start performing the action there. They'll perform an action, uh, and of course they're performing an action. Missed uh, the data. So over yeah, R and D, and again, uh, unit of five, but they're offset. Or sorry, they're they're troop option. So, so they automatically pass. They auto pass. <laughs> exactly. Okay, cool. How many how many sisters are in here? Ten or five? There are ten. Ten. Gotcha. Well, that's yeah. gonna be annoying to deal with. But yes. I'll deal with it all the same. I'll they, do what they, I must. They be the choppy choppy. All right. Now for Schusting. Firing the retributors first. They could see into the uh, legionnaires out front with the chain swords. I have dents, but you ignore it. Yep. But you moved, so same same idea. <laughs> oh yeah, so yes, it does really change. Change is absolutely bubblegum. Fours to hit. All right. Good luck Fours to you. Fours rolling ones. But better luck to me, please. Oh, nice ones. That's nice good. ones. And then the couple misses in there because they moved. And, and the reroll. Couple more hits, not bad. Okay. Well, These will be twos to squish some marines. Uh, that will, in theory, squish a lot of marines for works. I hope not. 
All right, no, that was four melters. Oops. Oh, four wound, nine back. Number contempt gives me a six up save here. I will make one. So three Marines go down. Ah, uh, cause, ah, uh, no, I guess you're not. Uh, yeah, you could roll ones. I could. So three of them. First of all, I just roll one at a time. Yeah, it's dead. Dead. Oh, no, not quite. Unless you want a command point, but oh wow, I, never mind. Okay. <laughs> well, I, oops, I killed two. You got, you got, you got. Yeah, you killed two. Dead and dead. Suppose we're gonna lose a chainsword and a chainsword. We'll keep the. If I just lose the melt again, I don't really care about it. Melt gun's nice and all. I suppose the chainsword. Ah, eh, whatever. I'll lose the. Uh, I'll lose the because the chainsaws don't matter because they have armor contempt as well. It's just an extra attack. I'll just hey, keep extra attacks are extra attacks. They are. They are. But melting is melting. That's pretty much it for the shooting. There's no charges to do. Uh, actions completing. We retrieve nephilim data in that table quarter, and then they did they have to do an action over here? No. Yeah, they did their action for the surge. Yes, the surge. Uh, because they are yeah, and they they were able to do it at the end of the movement phase because they're troops. So that's completed there. This one is worth two points for surge, uh, and then obviously we're not sc scoring the other part of the primary now so that's not bad got that table quarter covered two points for that and we're on to black legion turn one generator another miracle die so three to two new miracle die one hey. glorious i'm gonna re-roll that with the relic you have a six oh, glorious so much better in my command phase i don't have a whole lot to do we have harkon world claimer it's a world claimer not a world breaker he's gonna use his lord of the raptors ability i choose a black legion core uh, unit nearby. I'll choose these raptors. They get to reroll all hit rolls. Not that it's gonna matter for now. But if the raptors, they get to reroll all wound rolls as well. Ooh. Uh, we'll choose them. And we're gonna go on a movement. And for movement, we're gonna keep it pretty, pretty simple. Ooh, it's kind of tough though. I'm not a huge fan of what I must do here. I would love to push towards that objective, but things are bad. Things aren't great. Let's go with these uh, legionnaires. The ones that got shot by the belt guns are gonna move forward. All right, then we're gonna move the other legionnaires this direction uh, towards the rhino. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. And then Mr. Harkin and his raptors. We have to figure out where I want them to go. And then these legionnaires with their bolt guns are gonna go through the cover, gonna move forward. This is very much, uh, I'm just gonna move forward, roll dice and see what happens and uh, hope for the best. Let's move these Havocs. Uh, Havocs can ignore the penalty for moving and firing heavy weapons because they got fancy toes. Jealous. We're gonna, gonna move up there. You used to have that. <laughs> Our psyker is gonna pop out as well. Last thing I'm gonna do is move these raptors. We're gonna have uh, these raptors jump. We're gonna hang out over here with them. And uh, you have to excuse the, 30, uh, the 25 millimeter base here. Uh, it's an old collection. Uh, you probably haven't seen a raptor on the channel in a long time for most of you, so <laughs> I'm sure you understand. They are gonna go ahead and, uh, actually no, they're gonna despoil this area here, but I'll worry, that's technically the end of the movement phase, which will come up in a second. And I gotta correct myself, I said you could despoil the same area twice, you can't, you have to, each one is individual. This one's worth one, four, four, four though. That's gonna be hard to do, but we're gonna try and do it all the same. All right, so we decided to move the raptors this direction, and Harkon will jump down with his fancy spear that he throws and goes to collect. We're going to go on to the end of the movement phase where these uh, legionnaires are going to perform surge on this objective, and they can do it at the end of the turn because they're upsec or at the end of the movement phase. And then we are going to, at the end of the movement phase, have these rap raptors despoil this objective. So it's only worth one victory point, and it doesn't complete until my next command phase. Uh, but it does complete if there's anything there. I just can't start the action if there's any mutants on the objective. It's free to despoil. It's a free two points. And psychic time. Oh, we are going to have our... And he can cast an additional power because he's got the Liber Hereticus. Uh, let's just start with a smite, a very basic caster. Uh, oh, okay, we perils right off the rip. <laughs> but it does... Uh, it's a good smite. I'm not going to re-roll it. Would you like to try and stop it? Yep. All right, that's fair. Uh, I'll, uh, okay, mm. who is... And then every uh, act of faith allows you to roll a single die on a six that stops the power no matter what I rolled. Because the Emperor. Yep. <gasps> nope, okay. Okay, we get that power off. I'm going to suffer D3 mortal wounds first. I'll, I'm, I'm the proud owner of two mortal wounds on my guy. Oof. And then we're going to deal D6 mortal wounds because we're, we're channeling big brain bullets. And we're going to gain five. Ah, that's not bad. That's not bad. Five remaining wounds, and then my nerd has three remaining wounds. And we can cast an additional power. We're going to cast uh, f uh, Warp Flesh, Flesh Mend, Warp Craft, Flesh Craft. I think it's actually Flesh Craft on himself. He heals D3 wounds. <laughs> <laughs> and then brings the model back to his unit if he had any missing models. He does not. I didn't plan on casting that power this turn, but now I have a reason to. Uh, we got it with a nine. You might as well try and stop it. I'm definitely going to try and stop that. On a, no! Denied. I want to heal myself. Okay. Uh, do you get a miracle die for stopping that now? No. Or, no? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and then, because he can throw a third power out. Mutated invigoration, increasing the tough... Oh, that's a two. That's a four. We fail that. Okay. Okay, cool. We don't, we don't get that bad boy off. Uh, what did we got the smite. We got the smite. We love the smite. No, we keep it simple. We're going to go right on to shooting. 
Uh, we are going to start that off with yeah. these. The last cannons don't really have any targets but the Rhino, and we're just going to go for the Rhino. We want to pop the Rhino. Yeah, we're going to do all four last cannons, and that's all I got into the Rhino. We are Black Legion, though, and they get a, they get two rules. If they charge, they get plus one to hit, and if they shoot the nearest target, they get plus one to hit. So twos. Hey, Black Legion rule showing up. Oof. Threes to wound. That's three wounding hits on a Rhino at minus... Uh, Three, yeah, that's minus it. down to minus and, two, and if yeah, down to minus two, and if anyone's curious, these do not have the uh, icon of Nurgle, so no auto wounding on six to hit there. So you got two five up saves. Uh, yeah, two five ups, I guess, because minus two. Good luck, or three five ups. Yeah, Sorry, I was three five. Say three My five. bad. I'm you thinking want to short yourself by all means, but. <gasps> There, I, there's no point really. Yeah, you could reroll one if you want to. No, there's no point. But the you, you might actually not go. Oh, yowch. How <laughs> about 15 damage? Yowch. <laughs> Does it explode? Please no. No. no All right, explode. now we must get the ladies out. So they disembarked there. We can move the rhino if you want. And then we got to roll to see if they've done this song and dance before to see if they know how to choreograph their way out of a rhino. I would hope to lose. I'm going to say nine. I want you to roll nine ones. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. I, I don't think it's gonna happen. Well, what, 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 what do you think that would feel like if it did? <laughs> I'd be very upset, not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, realistically, I might lose three. Ah, I okay. hope not. You know what? Three, three is good. How about none? Nice. How about none? None. They're okay. All good. Very beautiful, beautiful. All right, well, that's, the, that's the last cannon's firing. Now, these guys are doing an action, they're doing an action, so the rest of my shots are over here. I will start with um, the ones I don't have too much choice on. Uh, the Raptors have short range, so if any, if any of them have shots, I'll take it now. We got one shot with the Melted Gun into the Sister Superior. It hits on a three, but we get full rerolls because uh, Harkon picked them. And then this wound's on a two. Actually, I, I guess I, I technically hit on a two because I'm shooting the nearest target. Yeah. So I didn't need the reroll, so that'll just be the wound. Because okay. I reroll wound rolls, I have two to wound rerolling, so. So what is it, a plasma weapon? No, this is a the Melted Gun. Oh, oh. Uh, so it's minus three for you. <laughs> You get six up, by the way. Uh, I do have a six up. Uh, you, you don't have to take it on. No, I'm not going to take it on. Yeah, I'm just going to. One of the novitiates is going to straight up, you know. Six up, please. No. Nope. Oh, okay. Not quite. One of them gets very hot. <sighs> Our big nerd with a stick is going to shoot his bolt pistol at the ladies. Uh, he gets plus one to hit the nearest. He does hit. He does not wound, though. And the last few things to resolve are going to be let's do these legionnaires with bolt guns. They're going to fire at the novitiates. Three shots from the bolt guns, because the melted gun is not in range and the plasma pistol isn't either. So these are the nearest targets, so we hit on twos, wounding on threes. Pair of ones, we got one wound and you get your full save. You're good to go. Yeah. After that, just this squad here will fire. The same idea, same deal yep. into them. I'm not going to bother supercharging the plasma gun. I don't <laughs> think there's a reason like a... to. No, do it. Go uh, on, by all means. So I'll, overcharge your plasma weapon. I'll throw please. the plasma pistol into there as well. They hit on twos, because we're Black Legion, and uh, that does not wound. We have two, uh, two minus two because of contempt, yep. so you can take it on whoever you want there. Oh, I'm on a six up. Uh, okay, well, I'd be on a five up if I took it on the sister pair, but I don't want to do that, so I'm going to do two six ups. All right, fair. Boop. All right, two novitiates go down. Boop, boom, and then I have three bulk guns to follow up there. They'd be rapid firing. And sixes. Oh, sorry, twos. I mean, I don't know why I said sixes. They get plus one hit because of the nearest target. And threes. threes. Wow, two. that's a, wow, you are rolling low. Hey, we're rolling what the dice are giving me, which is low. <laughs> hey, one fail. Die, because they don't have nope. power. Oh, you're, take, you're taking it on her? Nice. Yeah. All right. If you rolled a one or two, she would have died. I know. Monster. And choose not to throw a spear because they're out of range. <laughs> she doesn't want to have to embarrassingly miss and pick it up later. That'd be that'd be a bad look for him. It would be. Uh, uh, we're going to try some charges because you never know. We're just going to go with this squad to clear a charge against the Novitiates. And then uh, that's about it. I don't know what the charge distance is. I'm just going to roll the dice and figure it out. Uh, nine might do it. All right, they do make it with a nine. That's where they end up, though, just getting within an inch. And I'll try a charge with these raptors as well. They probably need box cars, but that's a five. That's, that's a big old it. nope. <laughs> New Sir Rebob. It's going to go right to fighting. This is the only fight we really have here. All right. And that's how we're going to pile in. We'll start with the champion's axe, and we just have four regular dudes. Yeah, chain sword first. Uh, this is a, a chain axe versus a strength eight minus four two damage. That's not what I expected. That's like five points. <laughs> I think whatever it is, I bought it on him. Uh, we hit on threes with him because we're uh, sorry Oof. threes because we're Black Legion. So we get plus one hit if we charged and twos to wound. That's uh, four saves at minus three because of contempt. Right, rolling four saves, looking for sixes because of faith. The emperor does not protect these ladies. They get cut down by an axe. And then we have uh, regular. Uh, they pull out their daggers, try and hit them with their. Gun butts, all that stuff next. All right, and then we have the regular attacks on twos because we charged, and we uh, the Black Legion. And then these wound on threes for strength four. All right, we have some saves here. So that's five, seven saves. Uh, no AP. We're going to do two at a time on the four ups. Oh, nice, good start. 
Ooh, bad follow up. <laughs> then now the rest are just three ups on the superior. The lady superior, she does live. She Very does good. live. Excellent. And then she uh, does get to smack back. Because of the way the models ended up dying, she is out of range to pile in and fight, so she will not be able to retaliate. But she's angry. <laughs> kind of wish I hadn't roll, uh, rolled that one into a six earlier. Right. That would be great comes now. the morale. Can you roll a one? No. She decides to leave the battlefield and go into a mortifier later. Not a bad first turn for these guys showing up and really kind of muscling their way through the middle, but they're probably just going to end up dying now anyways. There's a lot of trading going to happen here in the middle. So at the end of my turn, they do not complete the action here on the despoiling. They do that later. These guys do finish the surge, though. And because of the long war, I do get two points because I took an objective from Trevor. I didn't kill a unit that started on the objective, though. That unit I killed did not start the turn on this objective, so I only get two points for long war. At the end of the first round, I got four points. Trevor has six currently. We're going to go on the second battle round now, and I'm going to go on to the, the next uh, wanton... Uh, I'm going to go on to the next part of the Let the Galaxy Burn. And if I rolled any sixes for the heavy weapons there, or... The rapid fire weapons, if they mattered, I apologize, I forgot. It didn't really matter because I, I killed the things I went for anyways, and I only shot at those two units there. And four to three command points. We haven't really been using them yet. I know what I want to use mine on, I just haven't hasn't come up yet. It's time for some more miracle dice. So you get the one for your the army roll, you get a one. That's not great. Do you want to re-roll this battle round or hold on to a one? Oh, and if anyone's curious, Trevor has that relic that lets him re-roll one of his miracle dice he gains once per battle round. He chose to use it on my turn last time. He got the six. Which is still in his pocket. And use the relic to reroll this. This one will become a. Okay. Okay. You know what? The Empress says you, you get a one. All right. And then we get the Canoness's free one that she can use, which is a two. Okay. Hey, you know what? She probably hits on twos with weapons, so that's not bad. She does. Okay, so Canoness is going to use her Rana Office to give to grant the Retributors the uh, the uh, reroll ones. Easy peasy. Yep. And we got a couple prayers over here. What are we thinking? Same things? Oh, no. Uh, actually, this time. I just want to make sure, am I, okay. Mm. Let me just confirm the range. Plus one attacks. War him over there on a, I assume three On a three. Oh. No. Okay, and okay. she has one more she can do. Yep, and she is going to do the uh, anti psyker one again on them. Oh, I see. Or, on, on them though this time. And the ones in the back, make them safe. Wow. No, okay. 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 <laughs> Driven onwards from the yep. superior. So they can advance and charge and charge 3d6, discard one. Charge damn good. Yep, charge very good. And that's at the end of the command phase, you gain four victory points for holding this objective. This yep. one is in my control though. So that's four points for the primary. For that wall. So they are gonna be taking this objective back in the name of the Bloody Rose and uh, rip those cast space marines. But you know what? They did some cool stuff. Then the uh, the sister here will follow them. The, the priest. Di Dialogus. The Dialogus, that's what their yep. name is. So we're gonna use the Canon SS2 over here on uh, the, uh, I'm not too sure the name of the ability. Uh, to friendly units within three inches. And it's a blessing of uh, the Emperor. It's the blessing of faith here. And it's uh, currently because she had a two, it's a three inch aura of no rerolling hit rolls, wound rolls, or damage rolls against herself or any friendly unit within that aura. Yeah, I that, should that say was, that was in the command that phase. That was in the command phase. Yeah, we're going to proceed with Hooman now. Yes. We're going to do an act of faith over here. The Repentia. Yeah, they're gonna, just going to. They're going to advance six inches. Oh, God. And they can advance and charge this turn. Because yes, of the, yes, uh, they can. The Sister Superior says so. So then, you know. From her, it's nine inch deny in case you do things. That's true. Uh, she has the option of, of advancing and charging as well. By she, uh, she, I mean the sister superior there. But she's probably not going to follow up on this. She's probably going to stick around back there with the other Repentia, who yep. are in the ruins there. You can see them right there. The sisters of battle here are going to advance because they need to get into position over in this table quarter. And they're going to go six plus six. Hey, hey. that's awesome. Nice okay. Move very fast. That, that ensures that they get right where I need them to be. So they're free to do retrieve Nephilim dad in this table quarter on, on the following turn if needed, if they need to do it. After that move, the Repentia move on to the objective and then the superior's in there as well. It's just hard to get a shot of her. There she is. She advanced over in that direction nearby them. Hospitaller is going to advance over this direction. An extra one. Ooh. Well, she's focused right now on fixing things. She's going to advance, save. she's not going to commit to the move. If she rolled higher, she might have come yep. over here. No, I, yeah. Yeah. If I could commit to getting over there, yeah, no, I would I would have done so. Uh, and then... And then one other little minor change, we, the Repentia here, we chose to advance to the other side of the wall. That way they're not in the open for, uh, and they get some obscuring. And then the Canoness is going to advance and see where she can end up going. She rolls a three. Okay. From there, she's going to go into the corner there, and she'll be within three of the Sisters of Battle here, getting some look sir, and then being able to support this side of the battlefield if needed. <laughs> and that means the aura is over here, so I can't reroll hit. Hit rolls, wound rolls, or damage rolls against that unit specifically. Then the multi melt is moving, stretch out a little bit to give their uh, increase their options of what they want to shoot at. In the reinforcement step, the Zephyrum show up here more than nine away from the Legionnaires. I didn't leave much room in the back here for any reinforcements to show up. We have like this guy 
back there to. He's just enough to deny that whole back corner. And then these guys over here stay in that one. Just to deny retrieve Nephilim data early on on my side of the board. Uh, and then, so they're going to show up over here, and then we're on to the shooting phase. Oh, no, you want to do, oh, there's no surging I'm, anywhere. Yeah, I no They're on this objective, yeah. Yep. So it'll be, uh, do they want to retrieve Nephilim data, or do they want to shoot and charge? Uh, oh, yeah, no, that's right. Yeah, I got to do that now. Uh, you, know, uh, you know what? I may as well at least try. That's fair. All right, and then you can roll it now. It doesn't yep. really matter. So don't roll a six. Hey, hey, hey all right, cool. So this table quarter's done, and that's that frees them up to do stuff later on as well. Yep. All right, so where the Dialogus is going to fire her bolt pistol, she's going to perform an act of faith, uh, roll a one. And with it, the Emperor decrees I don't hit with this right now, and that will be your second act of faith this turn. Third. That's, well, that's the third one, that's right. Yes. Uh, she, sure, no, no, you're right, too, because okay, I, right. I used she her, the I used the, yeah, I used her miracle yeah. ability. So that's that's one victory point. Okay. The multi <laughs> are going to fire the Retributors, so we're going to have this fire at the Raptor here. And then that one's gonna fire down at this angle. And then those two have line of sight to fire at the Legionnaires here, down this path here to this guy, the champion. Which one do you wanna start with? We'll start with uh, these ones here. Those fine lads there. Four shots on fours, cause you moved. And that is- okay. We're rolling them we, once. We roll the ones, we got two hits so far. If we get two more. Ooh, that's I can. Good. Two's to wound here. Can you take out my, if you do, that'd be really good because then I won't be able to use them for later. That's, That's four saves at minus three for you, good sir. I need to make two six up there. I make one. So that does, uh, I guess you have to roll the d6s. Yep. Because it's, uh, they're not quite within 12. So first one of three, it'll be d6 damage. That's dead. Second one, dead. Third one. <gasps> Ooh. I don't command point reroll that. I think that is the right call. So down one command point for the sisters, and you need a two up. Aha! There we go. Three legionnaires. Melta, melta, melta. That is a miracle die at the end of the phase as well. The one melta gun over here. Two shots, fours. Ooh, one hit. That's fine. And twos. That's a wound. Six up. Ooh, d6 damage. That's four. That is enough to annihilate this guy. Yep. This well, superior? Uh, not, not the. Well, uh, okay, actually, you know what? The sister superior and the uh, the, sig uh, the, 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 the signum thing. Uh, the simulacrum. The simulacrum. Yep. Yeah. All right. So we got the simulacrum. Two long range bolt shells. Oh, and this is that's right. So we got one reroll. Reroll one. Two uh, that, hits. Yeah, that is hit twice. Those are just bolt shells. Four is to wound. No. Okay. And then we have one more multi melt of putting a couple shots down at the raptors there. Fours. Ooh, one miss. Two is to wound. That's a wound. Uh, six up save. Nope, that's a, well, maybe a dead raptor on a two up. Yes. Fire, we're gonna use to the get, cherub there. To get uh, another round of shots into those raptors. All right, here we go. One of them is gonna fire again. Oh, the one firing at the raptors will fire a second time. And we have, ooh, another, okay, one another more hit. hit. Two to hit, two to wound, I mean. That's a wound. All right. D6 damage. Oh, uh, you got your save to make still. Oh, you're right. Six. <laughs> we fail. D6 damage on a two up. I lose a second raptor. Okay, all right. That's right. I got a. Okay. You're good. Oh, yeah. All right. That's going to be a couple of raptors. The question is, where do I want to put said raptors? I think we're going to keep the melt a gun there, so we're going to lose you and you. I okay. thought it was a healthy idea to, you know, cut the number of raptors coming at me. It's not a bad call. Battle sisters into them. All right, bolt, that's 12 bolt shots, or sorry, 10 bolt shots. You want to throw a grenade? Do they have grenades? They do have grenades. So actually, uh, I'm going to do one less bolt shell and do, uh, sorry, one last bolt gun and huck a grenade. So one crack grenade coming one in. Fancy grenade coming up. Nope. Oh, they need better training, obviously. Look how close they are. <laughs> and then eight shots on threes. And a few misses there, not bad. Fours to wound, but the rest of that do hit. And three, no cover on them, so three ups. Oh, you gun one down. Wow. Uh, let's lose the bolt gun. Uh, it doesn't really matter who's that bolt gun. Oh, End yes. of the shooting phase, we're gonna roll a miracle die now because we killed the one legionnaire unit over there and it's gonna be a one. Okay, well. That's not bad for morale. We're gonna try the Zephyrum charge first, needing a nine. No miracle dice. Oh, heck oh, yeah, dude! Oh, holy crap. oh, and if anyone's curious, the the passion is the uh, the sacred rite of this game. Yes. We didn't say that earlier, but it'll be relevant now. All right, so we got the Zephyrum in there now, and now who would you like to charge next? Probably. Nope, nope. I have to take that back. Oh, you do? Why? Because they performed an action. They've That's action. right. I thought something was off, but yep. we can just take the charge. We would say that was the whoever wants to charge first. Okay, well, twelve. <laughs> yeah. I mean, really, oh, look. Ooh, okay, yep. so the Repentia yeah, got in. The Repentia right. got in. I'm not going to overwatch either way. I'm going to save the command point. It's just three dudes, so it's not really okay. worth it. So we're here. Yeah, well, I forgot, too. I thought there was something off about the charge. I'm like, oh, heck yeah, 12. I got excited when I see the double six. <laughs> yep. yeah, so there's, we're going to put them back to where they were. Okay. They were out of line of sight of the last cannon, so they're safe there. Uh, the the Repentia can just come in. Okay. Yeah, they, they were, they, that was within an inch. There was no way for exactly. me to fail. No fail. I'm going to do a hypothetical overwatch because I was thinking about it. Nope, good thing I didn't. <laughs> and then the bolt then. 
I would have got a hit. Whatever. All right, in they come. And want- because they, hey, they didn't perform. An, uh, they didn't perform an action <gasps> for glory. For, for glory. The that works. Okay. That'll be for charges, so we're good to fight here. Uh, you gain your Bloody Rose rules. Yes, uh, I do. Which is uh, extra AP and extra attack. Yep. Nice. You know what? No, we will. We'll actually do the Repentia first. That's, I want to because I kind of want the Repentia to sneak in out of line of sight those last cannons. Understood. Charged. All right, they got zealots, so they're hitting on fours, but uh, yeah. re-rolling. Yep. And these are with the extra attacks because of Bloody Rose. Yeah, and, and because I have Passion active, so any six I hit is now an extra hit. Two hits instead of one. Ooh, that sounds familiar. Yeah. <laughs> All yeah, right. The passion. And oh, that was a lot of sixes. We like to see the sixes. In wow, there's a lot of sixes. Okay, so mm-hmm. I re-roll the twos, the threes. That's a good start. Okay. Damn good start. So, knowing Gosh, that, you, wow. Okay, uh, if those. That's 12 hits so far. Yeah. Oh. Okay, oh, a couple more wow. hits. We got only, 14 hits. Only. And these are strength six. Yep, so Oops. wounding on threes. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I think there's like one fail. <laughs> uh, AP four because of Bloody Rose, down to three because of Contempt. Uh, would, would you, you, you would have killed 13 Legionnaires because oh, they're two damage each. They are two damage a piece. Well, then, that oh. is. Uh, that's a miracle die, if I've ever that, that is indeed a miracle die. Sight. We're gonna consolidate towards my army and into the obscuring terrain. Then we're gonna get another miracle die because you whoop my butt there. That's a three, not bad. All right. And then we go to the morale phase. Which, That's, there's nothing to roll. There's yeah. no morale to make. Uh, I lost a couple guys, but they can't possibly fail. And that should sum that up pretty much. And then um, you get uh, one victory point at the end of the turn because you did two uh, acts of faith, so for leap of faith. And you get three victory points because you control your stronghold here. Yep. All right, we are at turn two, five to three command points. And you get another miracle die, a, a one. Nice. Uh, we're, I, we're, I can't. Uh, we're gonna have Harkin World Claimer use his Lord of Raptors ability on the Black Legion Legionnaires here so they can reroll hit rolls, but they're not Raptors, so they don't reroll wound rolls, unfortunately. Uh, I mean, it's tempting to put it on these guys here. Ah, <sighs> dang it. You know what? I'm curious. I'm gonna put it on the Raptors here instead. We're just gonna leave them operating in, uh, independently there. And that should be it for my, no, that's not it for my command phase. We're gonna use a command point on a Black Legion stratagem, Confluence of Traitors here. This allows you to give them uh, an additional Legion trait as if, you know, they, they, they operate under the Black Legion banners now, but they were once from another Legion. They, these guys were once word bearers, so they're gonna get profane zeal. Uh, they'll get reroll hit rolls in the first round of combat, and they'll have a five up uh, shrug against mortal wounds until my next command phase. And I'm going to try and remember that my rapid fire pistol and assault weapons are two hits on six, uh, six to hit instead of one now. So we are going to go ahead and move. Oh, sorry, at the end of my command phase, I'm only on one objective, so I get four points for that. Uh, Trevor was able to deny me two of them this turn. It was really good popping them off. That was huge. Was yeah, no, play. it had to be done. Yeah, couldn't quite save them as much as I would have to. I would have loved to put them all here, but I couldn't. They were too slow. Let's start getting on that. Let's move these lads over in this direction. We're going to end up moving there, and then we are going to move our raptors. Those who are from the word bearers. Raptors surge forward. We're going to keep this champion back here to continue zoning of this area for the uh, the Seraphim who are still in the game. And then I must, uh, I might have to move them a little bit. I might move this one over to here as well to push it in this direction. So I'm going to keep it in the ruins there. And we have to figure out uh, what we want to do with our trio or I guess uh, quintuplets in the middle there. And then they decide to come into this way. So the three Raptors, Harkon behind them, and then our Psyker ending up there. Uh, we're kind of pushing the train around here a little bit, but we're, we're kind of screening our back area a little bit over here. We're going to go on to the end of the movement phase where, oh, by the way, this was despoiled now. I gained a whole victory point for that. Huzzah. And this is a, if Trevor wants to perform actions here, he'll fail on a four up now. Or it's, he'll fail on one, two, or three. It's one of the, it's a 50-50 it's chance. It's a 50-50. Exactly. Uh, we are going to go on to the psychic phase, though, and we are going to roll up a, uh, we're going to start with a smite on the psyker here and hopefully not blow his brains out. Oh, we got it with a six. Huzzah. Uh, you might as well try and stop it. You have many of them. So a six will stop it. Nope. nope. That'll hit the Repentia because they're the nearest and they will suffer three mortal wounds. But they have a five up to ignore them. Uh, the wounds in general. Five up shrug because they're too mad to die. They have services to do. Oh, not ba- Okay, I thought it was three of them. Sorry. Two do die. But boom. And then he is going to go ahead and cast. Oh, mutated invigoration. Uh, that is a nine. Might as well try and stop it. It'll give plus one toughness to the Raptors over here. Uh, nope. Four. Nope. So these t- these Raptors are going to be T5. Uh, and then, because you can choose core for that, and if I roll high enough, it's plus one strength and toughness. It was demon kin, they're not demon kin though. And then those are warp talons that are demon kin, not these guys. And then we're going to tr- flesh craft and try and bring a Raptor back. We've got that with a 10. Very nice. 
No. Sure. Ooh, <laughs> no so psychic now this time around. He 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 puts his he weighs his hands together and one of the raptors that was uh, injured by the the melta starts to heal his wounds and joins the fray. All right, let's add you right over here. See, this is why I have another unit of Repentia back here. Yeah, exactly. Because I'm gonna need to send another missile up there and slaughter that. I'll do three powers. If anyone's curious, because I got the Libra Hereticus as his relic. Yeah. Should have mentioned that they are gonna surge on this objective for, uh, for trying to perform the action there. Their core or the troops they could do it at the end of the uh, movement phase there. But we're gonna go into the shooting phase and use two of our command points on unending destruction, allowing them to shoot even though they're performing an action. It does cost me two command points, though, so I'm down to two. Not a huge fan of that, but uh, I do need the shots where I can get them. They're not going to shoot yet. I should do that when they go to fire. We're going to fire the LAS cannons first, and the LAS cannons are going to go ahead and fire into the Retributor squad there. We Bring the, it! We've got the Simulacrum, the Sister Superior, and one melt that we can see there, so we're going to try and put some of them down if we're lucky. We don't get plus one to hit, however, because uh, that's not the nearest target. So threes. Oh, we got a miss. Black Legion, why? Uh, the sixes don't matter here anymore, because that was the other phase, or the previous turn, and twos. We got to fail. Hey, all right. Oh, two saves. Two saves to make. Uh, minus two. That's all. You got five ups. Because of contempt. It does uh, not. Uh, there are only one wound each. There are right? only one wound each. All right, so we take out two of them. <laughs> we'll lose the simulacrum oh, and yeah. the sister superior. superior. So that will do the unending destruction and fire these legionnaires into them as well. There's a doctor there. I have to do the damage. The first one's going to be three, and the second one will be three. So, okay. For the first one, the doctor does not save her life. And the second one. Uh, nope. nope, doesn't work there. Three bolt gun shots and one melt gun into the retributors. It's, it's funny the scale of the game where like it's definitely not worth to use two command points on this in any situation, but maybe in a thousand point game it kind of feels worth it. So the melt gun on a three, a two. Ooh, I got to measure range. That actually might be the Black Legion gets plus one to hit. Yeah. yeah, they're actually the closest. So the Black Legion rule helps you out there. Two to wound though. That's a four and you have a six up because of minus three AP after yep. contempt. Huh. Ooh, D6 damage because you got a doctor. It's gonna be five. Pretty clean Melta hit. No. There's one of the Melta guns, multi Meltas, and we have three bulk guns to resolve. Uh, so, uh, you know, I will. Oh no, I, are you the one currently keeping. Okay, yeah. I can lose a Melta there. They hit five times with the bulk guns because I got two sixes there. Three's to wound. That's uh, only three wounds, though. So Power armor. Ooh, Doctor. Six up. Ooh, no. So we lose one more. Two multi is left. Yep. Still a threat. They can shoot twice if for two command points, but they're going to be out of line of sight there because of the uh, the footprint of the ruin there. So they are going to be alive. But hey, I put pressure on them. I was hoping to do a little more damage to the last cannons, but hey, we killed six models. It's fine. Yeah, really. Uh, okay, now we're going to go on to the rest of my shooting, which is all focused over here. Probably put all the shots into the... Oh, you know what? Let's, let's put down some of the repentance with bolt pistols because that's probably the easiest thing. Well, let's try bolt pistol from... Now, let's just do the four-man squad here. We got three bolt pistols. Oh, actually, one's a plasma pistol. Ooh. So two bolt pistols into the Repentia. Plasma pistol and melted gun will go into the battle sisters back here. So are the two bolt pistols. These are the ones who are rerolling everything. So they hit on twos because it's the nearest target. This is the Repentia. And wounding on threes, rerolling everything because the raptors. That were, okay, didn't matter. <laughs> and then you have your... Sp I have a six up. Involm? Yeah. No, one damage. Five up, feel a little pain. Ah, we got one of them. And then we have the plasma pistol, which I will not supercharge. Reroll. Okay. <laughs> and then melt the gun. Hit. Wound. And then that's on the battle sister, so they have a six up save as well. We're going to roll. Look for a six here. Because does the Emperor protect? We haven't seen many of them, so it's bound to pop up eventually. Not quite yet, though. Is there any damage mitigation? Uh, no damage right. mitigation. One sister goes down. Let's go ahead and fire the next raptor unit here. Boom, boom, boom. We're going to put the bolt pistols in the Repentia, and then we'll do the plasma pistol and the melted gun into the sisters again. Uh, dang, that's a tough one. I wouldn't mind. No, I'm going to try and change it up a little bit, even though I hate doing that to myself. We're going to do the, the master of possessions. We'll fire his bolt pistol into the uh, Repentia. Oh, he misses that dummy. But a dummy! Well, this is going to come down to uh, the world claimer. He's going to throw his hell spear. He's going to try to impale one of the ladies. He does hit. And he, he strength seven, so it does wound. Uh, let me check the AP though. You know what? Turns out I made the right target because it's a beam attack anyway, so that'll tag the. Uh, oh, it has to be the closest to the closest, so the closest point wouldn't beam them, so it doesn't actually hit the Repentia. So it's still one minus two because of armor contempt on the Battle Sisters. So a single five up save. And if I can kill one, well, it doesn't actually matter killing one there. Yeah, it's all good. We tried. Uh, you get a five up. You get a five up? One whole five up. Ooh, one takes three damage. Skewered by the Hell Spear. 
And then we have the big squad of Raptors yet to fire. They're gonna put uh, the bolt pistols in the Repentia and then the Melta gun and the plasma gun into the sisters. So start with the Melta gun, I suppose. Hits, uh, that's a wound. And then you have a six up. Do you have a six as a miracle? No, 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 that, that, I was really hoping you'd fire the bolt pistols first. Oh, I see, I see. No, no, not yet. <laughs> we do those later. All right, that's a dead lady. So we have the superior, uh, we have the simulacrum left and that model. The plasma pistol, not supercharged. Rerolling because Harkon's nearby. And two to wound. That is a wound at minus, only minus two. So five up. Five up. Yes, contempt. That's a five. All it? right. The three bolt pistols into the Repenta. Harkon's nearby. Uh, and then she's probably not the nearest. I think these are closer, so don't get the plus one to hit. We reroll once, that doesn't matter. Wounds on a three. We do wound. Uh, so you have your six up in Vulm. Gonna, we're gonna use a miracle die. We're gonna use a one. Uh, so she fails it, but that counts as an activate on my turn. And we're on the five, I feel no pain. Oh, she eats the bull pistol. But that's an act of faith on my turn, which is big. That's one of them. And then we're gonna try and remember at the end of the phase, we'll get a miracle die from the Repentia because they just, whenever they die, that's their act. That is like their service to the empire. They, yep. They've done their duty. Uh, okay, that's it for shooting. I would have loved to kill one more of them, so I would have loved to throw the Melta gun into them, but that didn't quite work out that way. So we have no more shooting to do. I have no Legionnaires to fire twice. So we're gonna go on to charging. But oh, what we're gonna do is charge Harkon World Claimer into the Battle Sisters. I assume you don't want Overwatch. No, I do not want to spend my command points for Overwatch. That is a an eleven. That's a real fancy charge. Let's go with. He'll. You don't have to measure. I'm gonna go over here. I don't think that'll be. No, that'll be too close to her. So we'll just go over to here. Aha. That's right. That we go land there then. I forgot that thing is just a marker. It doesn't actually take up any spots. I just want to be an inch away from her. Not that I can do anything to her. She's safe. Uh, then we're going to have these raptors declare a charge. We're going to go for these battle sisters, I think. Would you like to overwatch? Nope. Charge! Five? Maybe good enough? Mm. Should be. Ah, sad roll. I would have rolled love the 11 on them. They have. I would have loved to do the vicious descent. But, unfortunately, only one guy is going to get within engagement range because the other one's going to be lagging behind. We. There we go. And then we have these raptors declaring a charge against the battle sisters as well. They're gonna go, oh, there's, stop it with the 11s. That 11 inch charge, we're gonna keep the melted gun back there to protect the psyker a little bit. And then we will have uh, the rest end up where they are. That means one of them is not gonna be fighting, but that's okay, because I think Harkon's gonna end up taking them out for the most part. And then that will be it for my charges. Uh, and then and we're gonna move on to fighting. We'll start fighting with these raptors over here. So they'll pile in. And we are, that guy will take up that spot and that guy's just gonna follow up. All right, that's them piling in. I will do, I'll just get the chain, the, the, the champion's power sword out of the way first. Four attacks, because he's a champion. Uh, we hit on twos, the sixes don't matter. These are threes to wound, because he's strength five. Uh, three minus two saves. We use the miracle die, we're gonna use a five to pass one yeah, of those. It's a three. Oh, it's a three, it's another fail. Yeah, so one fail. <gasps> one dead lady. And then we have two more saves. You just throw their lives away for victory points, I love it. Makes sense. Uh, and then two more. Oh, he, the champion charges in. Oh, sorry, it was over here. That oh, was the champion sorry, there. Yes. Yeah. So one, two of them got cut down. And then I, a third one technically yeah, died yeah, for yeah. the act of faith as well. Yep. And then I have chain swords. And it's funny enough, I, I got two chain swords. Look, they get the extra attack and AP, but I could throw in the non chain sword guy because armor contempt makes their AP worthless. Uh, these are, but these are the ones. Yeah, and they're, these guys are hitting on twos, and there's one Harkon targeted, so they reroll all hit rolls. Uh, no, they don't. Oh, they don't, they don't, because they, that's right. right. Oh, nice. Take that away. Because they're simultaneous. And then the three spoon, no re-rolling. They would have re-rolled those. All right, that's six saves. Six three plus saves. And can they live? I'd say they should die here. And I'd say they do die, but just barely. Yeah, exactly. It was barely dead. And then uh, the consolidation isn't going to be much. I'm going to go a little bit closer there and make a wall. They're pretty much dead, but hopefully it was worth it in the long run. I assume you don't want to counter offensive and fight me over here. Uh, well, Har wait, has Harkin, Harkin has not attacked yet. These guys haven't attacked okay, yet. Okay, so no, why would I want to heroically intervene into <laughs> someone that you're going to turn around and then slaughter my uh, character? So that's figured. a bad idea. Harkon's got seven attacks with his fancy lightning claw. It's like a two damage lightning claw. Woo. Boom, hitting on twos. Woof. The sixes don't matter. And then he wounds on... Actually, I don't even know. Well, he does re threes for sure, and then the reroll. Strength four, so we have six saves on him. Uh, minus two because of contempt, so plus six five ups. 
Six five up, so those four battle sisters there. Six five ups. You know what? I have the opportunity now, so I may as well spend it because I don't think I get an opportunity. So uh, that generates one. Oh, okay, I roll two die and I pick one, and it gets a free miracle die for them to use. Oh, okay, cool. Nice. It does not count for leap of faith. Nah, I, I, yeah, that's right. You're right. Yeah. So a four, it wouldn't matter. Yeah. Okay. okay so bunch I, of five ups. I just so, want to use one to kill I one. I may as well. Oh, all right, look. Oh, look. Okay. All right, so you got that's ha that you make two of them. There was six though. Oh, sorry. So I killed. Oh, and, one. and I used one on a map. Okay, so that's yeah, so I got two more. Back. And ooh, nice. She kills the unit. So two of them do die because uh, there's two fails. Yep. And then Hark, uh, does she have a weapon? She does. Ooh. Then Harkon is gonna take his hell spear out of the sister he impaled with it earlier because oh, like, it's not magical. He's got to go pick it up after he throws it, and then he'll. He'll consolidate into the combat. I want to see what what metal she's made out of, and then not uh, much. <laughs> and then we'll have uh, we'll keep these guys a little further. We'll go in base contact with her, and then we'll keep these guys where they are because we got to daisy chain them back that way. So that is where we're gonna end up there, uh, and then you get to retaliate with that character. Yes. Three attacks. She doesn't get the bloody rose stuff because uh, she's. Uh, uh, she, the... She's uh, yeah. She's not militant order. Gotcha. Okay, so look at her. Uh, I'm assuming it, I'm assuming it. <laughs> Probably not the ones. Uh, no, she's weapon skill four. So that's one hit. We got a hit. Not bad. Strength four. So wound gun fours. Okay. Nope. A whole lot of not. <laughs> well, I don't get to fight with them all the same. So that'll be the end of the turn. There's um, you do have a morale to take on. I think they. I have. do. Oh yeah. No, they will. Ha they will have to take morale. But okay. Miracle so die. end of phase. Oh yeah. So they, I the, generate. The I generate one for the repentia. And roll, uh, I'll yeah. do that over here. And then we got a six. Hey, oh, that's nice. good that's to have. Good to have. The morale. And, we, and Trevor had one a mir a Miracle okay. Dive, one in his back pocket. So that was three on your turn, yeah, so I will get three points for so that. Four <laughs> points is battle round for a Leap of Faith. And at the end of my turn, uh, after the morale, I killed the unit on an objective, so that's one point for the Long War. And I took an objective from the opponent, that's two points for the Long War. Assassinate, I haven't worked towards yet. And on top of that, uh, the I've only despoiled this one objective, so I only got one point for that. The spoiling one is obviously very difficult. We'll see what we can get for it later on, though. And that will be the end of my turn. We're going to go on to the third battle round, where I'm going to swap to the last part of the uh, Let the Galaxy Burn. So, assault, melee, and pistol weapons are six to hit trigger extra hits. I might have forgotten about some of the pistol shots earlier, but I was only firing at the repension. There's only one model, so it didn't matter. Yeah. One there, miracle die. There's my armor one. You got so a four, 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 and then the one for the cannon S that she personally uses. That's a five. Okay. So and then showing the command points. Three for me. Four for Trevor. We get to know one thing on my turn. They do complete the action for surge, 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 surge of faith over here because they spent two command points to shoot and perform an action. Yep. Cannon S, who is within twelve, can use her rod of office on anyone within twelve who's you know friendly uh, order bloody rose. So she's going to apply it to them, so they can reroll ones to hit. Awesome. Yeah. Very good. No Very matter useful. where they are. Yeah. No matter where they are. Go do better. Yep. From there. It's going to give him driven onwards to the Repentia so that they can uh, advance, charge, and, you know, charge 3d6, discard one. Absolutely. So we're going to try some buffs on herself, just because uh, the first one. So plus one invulnerable. From Act of Faith. Yep. Yes, so she's got a five up invulnerable. And then, hmm, in range. So, okay, if I fall back, I can't pass through that unit if I remember correctly. Uh, falling back, you can go this way, but you can't yeah. go that direction. Okay, yeah. I can go any direction, I just can't go through there. Correct. Okay, yeah, yeah. so... Oh, your base is big enough to technically go through that, so you're good to go that yeah, way. Yeah, but technically they're supposed to be, they're on larger bases. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to play them on 30, because yes, that's right, yeah, so it'll be harder to do. Okay, but that does give me an idea. Like she's going to attempt to do the anti psycho thing on herself. Of course, make it so she can't be targeted by powers. Yep. And cleanse herself of the Yes. Fear. Nice. So she's got five up involved and can't be hit by powers. He's going to evade the world claimer, and he just laughs as she does, so I like it. I'm gonna run over there more than three inches away from the world claimer, so I can't just hear a clean intervene and kill her. Actually, I'm nope. worried about that. No, because that's what the Ze Zephyrum have a job to do. <gasps> okay, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I like I'm not worried. <laughs> yeah. A distraction so the Zephyrum can get in easily. I like it. It's okay. We're gonna hmm. advance the Repentia. Oh, but we might use a miracle die here. And they're gonna go 12 inches with a miracle, an act of faith. With that move, they're gonna go right on there. Very good. The superior will advance out of there as well. She's gonna roll a four. Okay, it's good ten enough. inch. Then she will advance right there near the raptors. Oh now, yeah, no. The Zephyrum jump into that nice little pocket right there for him, or the, over here it doesn't really matter. Again, Zephyrum are gonna land there. They feel they well, they want to give the reroll charge pennant to the um, Repentia there. The Cannoness is gonna leave the ruin. She's gonna poke out and end up there. Okay, that puts her within six of them, so they get their rerolls. Uh, re we're gonna move the retributors a little bit just to get them within three inches of the cannon S there. We're gonna try and bring some of the models back with the hospitaler as well, uh, which I 
almost at the end of the movement phase. We have to bring in the reinforcements first still. And then the Seraphim show up. The, the, well, the six of them are showing up now. And that's the end of the U.S. reinforcement step. And at the end of the movement phase, uh, we had to do something. Hammer would, oh, the Hospitaller, of course. Yep. A command point. And what this does is you pick a core infantry not at a starting strength. Boom, Retributors. And you get, she works hard. She brings D3 in the back. I'd love to see one. I was, it used to be one. So that's why I'm like, oh, whatever. I'll shoot at them now. I could just get all three of them back. Oh, very oh, good. Well, That's I a did. three. One command point, very valuable. Almost back to full strength there. Just missing just four multi melters and the one uh, simulacrum. All right, not bad. Now we're on to shooting. We're going to shooting fire the plasma pistol from the cannon S. I assume you don't want to overcharge it. Yeah, no, I'll overcharge it. Oh, because you got the miracle die. I'll yeah. spend the miracle die. Absolutely. They're her own personal miracle die there. So we're going to fire into the raptors there. Yep. It hits. Does it wound? Needing a two. Well, spend a command point using faith and fury, counting that five as the hit roll and the wound roll. So now I have a, a five up save because of contempt. And we make it. Oh, uh well. -huh. Eat the plasma. The seraphim are firing next. All, 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 all six within 12 of the raptors here. I assume they're going to put all shots that direction. Oh, yeah. Anything fancy in there? Uh, two of the seraphim are toting uh, flame pistols. And then is the plasma pistol on the superior? Yeah. Nice. So we'll recharge that. All right, we'll do the flamers first then. Yep. So, so the number of shots. Four D6 automatic hits. Boop. Not bad. Seven. Is that 14? Very average. Five to wound. Strength three. No, strength four. I mean, oh. Store them and flamers. Good sir. Oh, they change them? Nice. Yep. I haven't played these guys since 8th edition, so I'm just making assumptions. Yeah, they are Minostorum, so they get plus one strike. <laughs> All right. Four to wound. Uh, it mattered for one. Nice. That was a pretty bad roll. It's only four wounds. Haha! I take a damage. They get bathed in flame over there, and then we have the hot gun, the plasma gun, or the different hot gun. Hits! Wounds on A3. Yes! And five up save. No, that does put that raptor down. And both pistols coming at him. They own the same threes. We got four hits. One of the one because the can nest nearby. Alright, we got five hits. He's going on fours. And that is two of them. We take no damage. The Zephyrim are gonna fire their pistols into the Raptors. One plasma. I'm not, not overcharging. Smart. Maybe. Ah, didn't hit anyways. But um, and that's gonna four. be four bolt pistols. Four bolt pistols on threes. And all okay. hit. Not bad. Forest to wound. That's one, two, two, two saves. I take no damage. Hospitaler's bolt pistol into the Raptors. Hit. And oh. Okay, we're good. And then we have the Retributors as the last thing to fire. Retributors are gonna split their fire. Two are gonna, from those two are gonna fire over here and the, the original two that moved over here into the Raptors to finish them off. Now the fours to hit, are we firing at them first? We're gonna fire at the Raptors uh, first. Fours, rolling ones. Uh, because the cannon says, please do better than that. Nice, it works. Two's to wound them. Ooh. Need to keep two command points free. <laughs> All right, no rerolls there. So I have a six up save. I fail it. D6 damage on a Raptor. Uh, how? Two. That'll be two damage no matter what. There you go. That guy goes down. Four shots at my Legionnaires. Rolling ones. Uh, reroll the one. Uh, they're... Oh. Okay, it they both hit anyways. It's, so there was a two in there, but... Oh, okay. Three no, hits. No, no. It's just three hits. Twos! Okay. Uh, just keep those two there, and then these are gonna be six ups. Oh, we make one. Very good. D6 damage, because they're probably not within 12. It kills one. Took. They and are getting vaporized. I do have to lose this melt gun, unfortunately, because no. I, I want to stay on the objective. And I don't want to lose my champion, and I can't take the guys in the middle, because I the movement was got a little weird. Bill from the Retributors. And oh, yeah, that's the Simulacrum bulk under yep. the Raptors, I assume. Couple shots. We roll. And two, maybe wounds on fours. And four wound. One. Three plus. Oh, it goes through the power armor. Uh, we're gonna keep the. Well, we're gonna put a wound on the raptor with the melt gun. Repentia will uh, start this show off. <laughs> gonna declare a charge into the psyker. It's normally a seven. The difficulty rate makes it a nine, but they roll three d six, take the two highest, and they have a pendant nearby to reroll. And okay, you need the reroll. You reroll all three though. And rerolling. Oh wow. I'm sorry, that sucks. They just stick. Wow. Out. They roll a five. Roll nice. No, that was that was two bad rolls in a row. To, to get a nine on three days, take the two ice is very likely. So that was un, that was unfortunate. I'm gonna charge uh, the Zephyr. I'm gonna charge the Raptor and Harkon Worldbreaker. World Claimer. There we go. <laughs> they also have a reroll because they have the pendant, and they probably only need like a four. They like need next to nothing. Hey, you know what? That's probably still good enough. Yeah, they didn't need much of a charge at all. Okay. Easy. They just go right in that gap there. Hell yes. We fight now, folks. Uh, now Repentia Superior is going to charge in. Yep, I could Overwatch. I'm, ah, every part of my body wants to. I'm gonna Overwatch to see if I get lucky here, because I don't think I. I'm gonna spend a command point. Uh, the melt gun first. 
Ooh, that counts as two hits because of my, uh, that's why I'm doing it. Every six to hit counts as two hits with these weapons. These wound on twos. A pair of wounds with the melted gun as well. And then you have your invulnerable save. Ups. Two six ups. Oh! oh nice. nice! The Emperor, the Emperor protect. protect! The pistol, not gonna supercharge. Uh, good call. <laughs> <laughs> They're the ones who re-roll everything because of Harkon. Still misses, okay. That's mostly why I did the Overwatch, yeah. That's fair. Good call, good double save, that was dope. And... Nine. I, I, I think I'm getting there from going to declare a charge into the Raptors. They probably just need a nine, because I don't think I pulled from that direction. Uh, what did you get? A seven? That will not do. We'll try the Cannon S next. And she, oh yeah, she's in there. We'll tuck her in there as well. All right, so that is it for charges. We're going to go uh, to fighting. Is there any where you want to fight first? Yeah, uh, I want uh, I want bad boy there before he can interrupt me. I want him toasted. Excellent. All right, we'll fight with the Zephyrim first. Okay. Three of the Zephyrim will be attacking Harkon, World Claimer, and then the two will just be hitting the Raptors, I suppose. Yep. Do the ones in Harkon first. We still have rolling ones because the Rod of Command on them. Good luck. And then sixes are good because of the passion. La passion. Rerolling. All right, got a hit. And the three sixes are extra three hits, which are just the three misses. And these are strength four, I assume. Yep. Because of power swords. The wound on four is Harkon's T4. May he live forever. Uh, we got a few wounds on him. Five, six wounds in total. He's got six wounds, so if I fail all of them, he's dead. Got to use the sigil of corruption. Ooh, he's got two wounds left. He almost died there. And then the attacks into the raptors. And same idea, hitting them on threes. Rolling ones. Sixes are good because the passion. We got two misses. I had a six in there, so you get one more hit. Back. <laughs> and they are T5, because they yep. have the psychic power on them. So five oh. to wound. But does it matter? It stopped one wound. Okay, so we got one six up save, because they're AP4, because they're Bloody Rose. That's a fail. Bloody one Rose damage. Cuts, Bloody Rose cuts through their armor. And we're going to put the wound on uh, just random Raptor up there. And uh, I will not be inter oh, interrupting. It's tempting, though. Uh, I'm going to... I don't want to do it, but I want to kill that Repentant Superior while I potentially have the opportunity to. So we're going to try. We're going to have these guys two command points for counteroffensive. I have no command points left to try and take out the Repentant Superior. She has survived the Overwatch. I don't think she's going to die to this. So we'll see. Uh, we are. We have the Power Sword, and the, we're heading on threes. Sixes are good, so that's three extra hits. And then these are wounding on threes. We reroll everything because Harkon said do better. So that's four saves at minus uh, two. She should have a five up. She got power armor, I suppose. Yep, no, she has power armor. She takes three damage. We have the chain sword. Oh, no chain sword, just three attacks on the regular guy. Uh, four hits though, and threes to wound. Reroll, just three saves, and you get your full save. Oh, she lives with the wound. Very good, boom, and then you get to proceed. And an S and her power sword will attack the raptors. We only have three wounds left. Uh, twos. All right, one miss. And these are strength four or five? Uh, strength four. All right, fours to wound. All right, and then these are fours. They and auto get one through. We'll use a five, uh, we'll use the miracle die there to wound one of them, and then two more rolls, because there's only... Uh, no, it was four. It was four hits? Oh, yeah. four hits, okay, yeah, so two, there are three wounds in total. Minus three because of Bloody Rose. And I make no saves. Oh, she cuts him down nice and clean. Oh, beautiful. And that will be a miracle battle killing unit. And that's my wound, not hers. And then uh, we are on to my retaliations. I am going to I'll pile in these lads first. Only two of them are going to be able to attack because this guy's going to be dragging back here. So they're going to all attack, obviously, Zephyrim, the only real target. Or the power sword, he's got four attacks. Uh, hitting on threes, but we reroll we re everything because they're technically word bearers for now. That doesn't matter, but we got the six in there. Uh, and Black Legion only gets plus one if they charge. These are wounding on threes. Oh, that's a whole lot of nada. Womp, 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 womp. And then we have a few chain swords in there. Three chain swords still. Threes to hit with the chain sword, re rolling because of the word bearer trait, profane zeal. And then we have five sixes in there, so that's five more hits. Threes to wound. And no rerolls here because of the other unit. Not bad though. The AP doesn't matter because of uh, contempt. So five, yeah, one 10, more in there. 12, 12 wounds. Three up, up, three up armor. Yeah, three up all around. Uh, you, you kill. I kill two. Okay. They're only one wound each, I assume. Yep. Bloop, bloop. And then. Hmm. Uh, uh, you know, uh, do I kill the one? Uh, do I kill the ones engaged with Harker? Uh, you, if you do, I can't fight with them. That's the, probably the right call. Yeah, except that then you charge me. Uh, well, I mean. He, he'll probably kill them. Uh, he'd probably kill the remaining three of them anyways. 
Uh, all the same. I was actually hoping the Raptors would just kill all them off, but he made amazing saves. But if you pull them, Harkin, he's going to charge. If you, if you leave him in combat, he's got seven attacks to probably kill all of them. Okay. Unless you want to make their so, saves. Yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, so let's in, let not, me... Not do that, yeah. Boom. Oh, yeah, except... Oh, no, you're okay. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, because he ends up there. He, he didn't charge this turn, so he can't pile in. Well, well, well. I figured, yeah, I, I didn't... I figured if I attacked with him first, I was only going to kill a couple of them or three of them, and then I would, the pile would be a little scuffed, and then the attacks left wouldn't do, and I figured their attacks on their own would wipe them all out, and didn't work out that way. Well, it didn't help the power sword rule four, four fails. But that is the end of combat. I have no morales over here. I don't, can they fail losing three? Even if the Raptor's lowering their leadership, losing two is not enough for them to run, which sucks for Harkon, but oh well. He's got a cool warlord trait that manipulates morale. With all of that, that, that was a very unfortunate series of events there. I was hoping that these guys would be freed up and I, I gambled my command points to try and kill off the the um, Repentia Superior here and that failed as well. And now I don't have the command points for these guys to fall back, shoot and charge. So that means they're tied up over here for a turn. That's not great. So at the end of your turn, you don't control this objective. That's true. Uh, however, I did actually get one consolidate because she actually completed combat. Yeah, she combat. can consolidate, yes. She indeed. Just go up and around getting a little bit closer there. At the end of the turn, uh, no securing the Sanctum. And uh, not doing any retrieving Nephilim data yet. You still have two more turns to do so. You get two points because you did um, three acts of faith for a leader yes. faith on this turn. We so forgot to generate the die for killing the Raptors here. Yep. You gain a six. Hey, that's right. The top of the turn. One command point to three command points. Trevor's got three. And getting another command or a miracle die, you got a four. The command phase, Harkon's gonna pick the Raptors right beside him to reroll all hit wound rolls. Uh, because the Raptors. And that should be it for the command phase. So at the end of the command phase scoring, I control one, two, three of the objectives. That does give me 12 victory points. On to movement now. I'm gonna have to do some, that's ah, ah, nothing great. There's nothing I can do that's amazing right now. <laughs> that's, let me tell you. Claimer's gonna have to be pretty ballsy. He's gonna, he's, he picked up his spear earlier. He's gonna fly it over here. He's gonna try and throw his spear right through all of them and see what, oh, bring it. And see what he gets for that. He's gonna have to choose the, uh, the Repentia as the target and then everything in between will get hit. Uh, but it means I'm gonna have to roll because I want him to go take out the character as well. Raptors are stuck over here. This is unfortunate, we'll deal with that later. And then this Psyker is going to move. Uh, we're going to move him there. Not a great move, but it's a move. These Legionnaires are going to move in this direction. I don't think I want them to shoot their gun. I'd much rather them just move <laughs> live. and live and hide over here or something of the sort. There. They're going to try and despoil that objective. I'm going to perform that action now. So I'm not going to be surging, but I'll be attempting to despoil that. If they live, that's amazing. If not, well, they tried. Move. I, would, I have to readjust his movement. I want them to be closer because I need him to smite them to death and then them to pistol them so they can charge out and do some damage. That's my only hope here. To end up there. Change up his movement a little bit. And then we're going to the end of the movement phase where they're going to start performing to spoil ground. So if I can complete that in my next command phase, it's worth four victory points. Uh, but I mean, I'll have to... I'll have to hope for the best, obviously, and that's not going to probably happen, but we'll try. Psychic phase, however, we are going to start with Fleshcraft on the Psyker. That's a five. That does work. That one casts on a five, and you might as well stop it because you can stop all my powers. On a six. No, that's going to heal Harkin D3 wounds. He's going to heal three wounds. He's up to five again. Boom. And then, oh, let me, it should be character as well. I know it's core and demonkin, but it should be core, demonkin, and character. And then we'll cast Smite. We got it with a seven. So they're the closest. Uh, might as well stop it on a six, or try to. And it's gonna be two mortal wounds. There'll be one remaining. And then the Psyker's gonna cast Mutated Invigoration. Oh, we got it with an 11. Might as well try and stop it, last power. Uh, yep, we're gonna increase the toughness of these guys by one, make them T5. Uh, they're not Demonkin, they don't get both bonuses. And then we're on to shooting. And we are going to start with the Raptors here, because the only target they have is this character. So we have a plasma pistol and four bull pistols. I will fire the plasma pistol first. Hits, wounds, and you have a minus two, so five of save. I just want to auto pass it. We'll auto pass one of those. Miracle die, boom, auto passing that. And then I have the three bull pistols. Twos, I'm gonna re-roll these to try and fish for more sixes. I realize I should have done that with the plasma pistol, but didn't quite get there. They get twos to hit because they're Black Legion. Uh, so that's four hits with the pistols. Three to wound, uh, re-roll. And three saves, three three-ups. Ooh, very good. Nice, that's that's big, that's really big. Uh, then we're gonna have the, the Psyker over here, fire a bull pistol into the Sister Repentia. 
two hits, because he's uh, it's a six, and that's two wounds on the Repentia. Two six up invulnerable. And then they'll have a five up to ignore. To shrug damage. Oh, nice. They thing. shrug that. No damage there at all. Then I have the... Oh, that's that's kind of it for my plan. That's kind of screws that all up. That's okay. Not everything can always go according to plan. We're going to have the Hell Spear fire at the sister, so it'll go through all three of them. Uh, if it hits, however. Oh, okay. Well, he tried. <laughs> ah, should I reroll that? I'll command point it. Okay, it hits. See if it wounds the sister superior first, or the Repentia superior. Strength seven, so it does. Uh, and then you have, it's minus two because of Contempt. That's a five up. One, five up. Ooh, that's three damage. She does get skewered by the spear. Except I'll pay two command points <gasps> for Divine Intervention. She lives. She comes back to life at the end of the phase. Uh, let me just double check that. So we're going to use, uh, she'll stand back up at the end of the phase, discarding one Miracle die. She'll come back with one wound as close to that spot as possible. And then I'm going to roll the wound against the Cannon S. That is a wound. Okay, unless she's T4. Then you have your Invulnerable save. I do have a four-up Invulnerable. Three damage. Oh. And a wound roll against the Repentia. That is not a wound. It they, they they, they, they loses momentum as it gets him. <laughs> At the share. And then the last thing I have are the Laz cannons over here. They're going to fire into the Retributors again to try and get some uh, footing there. It's not the nearest target, so they hit on threes. It's not, oh, they're not heavy, heavy weapons, so matter there. And twos to wound them. And that is four five up saves. Because of contempt. And then they have a doctor, so I have to actually roll. Not bad. Made two of them, so the, this would be six damage plus six damage. So you have to make two, uh, you have to roll, you know, a lot of sixes in a row. I doubt it'll happen, but you never know. First one dies, and the second one dies. But it only really kills one multi melt the squad, unfortunately. Boop, boop. Only if you want to lose two and keep the simulacrum. Ultimately, that's how I can make sure I maintain my coherency and such. Yep. You caught three multi melt is still alive. That's it for shooting. We're on to charging. Uh, at the end of the phase, she comes back to life there with one wound. Aha. And then I'm going to go on to charging. You still have two command points, eh? Not ideal. I do have two command points. We'll go with the Psyker declaring a charge into the, Rep the Sister Repentia. It's minus two to this charge. That's, I was going to roll those days, so I fa he fails his charge like a <laughs> dummy. And then, um, my goodness, Harkon is going to charge the, the Cannoness and the Sister Repentia. He's probably going to end his life by doing so, though, but whatever. He'll charge six. Bam. All right. Well, that is it for his position. And, uh, well, none, none of, nothing I wanted to get done this turn worked. <laughs> if anyone was curious what my plan was, free them up. They could charge in there, do the mortal wounds against the Sister Repentia on the impact hit, and then protect him with character lookouts, sir. Have him charge over here to try and beat up this character, and uh, then resolve all of that. Then I'd have a threat over here and a threat over there versus that. Then it'd be a closer game. But this is not great. This is not the ideal situation. So we're going to fight first with uh, Harkon, and then he's got seven attacks. So we're going to put two of the attacks into the Cannon S, and then the other five will go into the Repentia. And we're just going to gamble, and if we get lucky, we get lucky. So into the Cannon S, both hit. And we do wound on that. Oh, no, he's, he needs to reroll. He's only trying four. Two wounds. Minus, uh, you're in bone. Four up in bone. Two of them. That's two damage. Unless you want to reroll it and see if she lives. Or just, uh, I guess you can't divine intervention or whatever. No, I can't points. divine intervention right now, but I... Command point reroll. Command point reroll. Keeping her alive is important. Huge. Oh, she and is. Yeah, she needs to live. Very good. And then we attack the Repentia. We hit on twos and we wound on twos. Uh, no, not twos, threes. I keep, I keep thinking he's got high strength. He's got a reroll. So he's got five saves on them right to their invuln. And there are two damage each. each day. Okay, so they're, they're going to live too. So just, uh, we got three of them that might die. Uh, okay. but How much damage per? Two per. Two per. Yep. Okay. First one is dead. Second one, dead. Third one, dead. There will be one remaining Repentia. Okay. Ah, that's enough to do the job. It is. Indeed it is. And then uh, you get to fight with your Zephyrim first. You might as well fight with the Zephyrim before I Yep, that way you don't get to hit. Huge, because if the Zephyrm kills that model, then I can't pile in over here either. Yep, it all, all right, so. <laughs> all falls apart. No charging done this time around. Four attacks. We hit everything. Oh, five, yeah. five hits. Yeah, mm. oh yeah. Oh, the uh, passion. The passion is active. Uh, however, you did get your plus one toughness off, so again, I'm on fives. Fives to hurt him because they're a little bit thicker with invigoration. Oh, they live, nice, cool. They will pile in and fight now. Uh, this guy is going to have to go. I'm so desperate. <laughs> this guy no. over there. And then this guy is going to pile in over this way. And this guy, this one here is closer to that one. But I got to double check the range. And that means you're going to pile in over here. Boop. 
about there, and then you'll pile in and strike at that same character. Not not really the best weapons to attack her with, but this one's supposed to be over there. So we got three attacking there. That's the power sword, two chain swords, or pretty much two chain swords attacking over there. This is the chain sword and the melted gun attacking the character. On threes. Oh, all rerolls because uh, Mr. Harkon said do better. Okay. And wounding on threes with the reroll. That's five saves, no AP. Walk us off. She's got four wounds. She'd be okay. Three of armor. She should walk us off like nothing. One, two damage. Only two damage. Two remaining wounds. Then I have the three attacking the Zephyrum over here. One's a power sword, so let's resolve that first. It'll be threes to hit with a reroll. Uh, that's four, five hits technically because of the six. Threes to wound with a reroll. And that's five. I would have loved to see that last time. Five wounding hits at uh, minus two. So five ups. Bam. No, she gets cut down. Oh, well. Bam. All right. And then that is, that's it for over here. So you get to fight back with your Repentia, Cannoness, or with the, uh, and you could have heroically intervened with that character if you wanted to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely. forgot to, I didn't mean to deny that. Yeah, I will certainly attack. would heroically intervene. <laughs> and then you might as well attack over here first and work your way over there because I got yep. no tricks left. I have her three attacks. On oh, fours. Not bad. That's, okay. Does she get the passion as well? Uh, yes, she does get the passion. Gotcha. And probably fives to wound. They're T5 now. So right, well, fives fours. Wound. Or oh, sorry, fives. Yeah. Five. Uh, that's one. Save? No, you cut this guy down. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Bad. I have those three over there to resolve against the world claimer. Uh, and three attacks with the Repentia. On fours. fours. Rerolling. Rerolling for Zealot. We have two hits. Three hits. And these should be threes to wound. Uh, twos to wound because oh, the I'm within six yeah. inches, so plus one to wound. Very good. Twos. All right, three so wounding three hits. saves at minus four. I make all of them. Oh, wow. Boom. On twos for her. Uh, that's a cock die. Okay, it's a one. We got three hits, and these are wounding on fours. And two saves. Oh, two damage. He's got two, three wounds left. All right, can so, the world claimer survive? The superior probably, but you never know. Stranger things. Threes. And we got a couple of Oh, wow. Uh, well, and, okay. So two more hits, not bad. Everybody. She probably gives herself plus one to wound. No. No. Well, uh, she only gets the plus one to wound when you are under leader's fate. Oh, I see, yes. I see, okay, nice. It's, little, it's demoralizing to have whips, you know. Okay. Uh, so I think I am, I think the whip. Five to wound. Only strength three. Uh, oh. Not bad, that's two wounds. Boom, we make them safe. That will be turned. I, can can they fail a leadership check if they lose three? Is that, um, I assume they're really high. I don't think uh, they're no, they're They do have to take a morale check. Um, he does have a rule, you have to roll two dice, take the one that I essentially pick, or the, the worst one, it's one of the two. Go roll six. Hey, you're good, nice. Leadership bait on them, they pass. And that will conclude my turn. They don't finish the action for despoiling that, they finish that later. Uh, at the end of my turn, I did I did kill a unit on the objective, so I get a point for that, for um, the long war. And I'm still working on killing characters. I got three characters all pretty close to dead, but not really succeeding in any regard. New turn, we're both at one command point. Trading my miracle die for the turn. A one. The battle round reroll. Yeah, I'm gonna use yeah, I'm gonna use my so relic reroll. Five instead. My cannonesses. Cannoness. Gets a five. Oh Just my cannonesses uh and the cannoness has the ability to heal D3 wounds in this game. So she heals one. She's up to three remaining wounds. Three's not bad. Hey, Harkon's at three. Oh, I wish she had some lookouts there right now. <laughs> she does not. That's okay. Well, that means uh, we are moving on to the movement phase. Yep. Oh, command, command phase. I can yep. still do some things. That's right. Uh, yeah, still things to do. So Prod of office on the seraphim. I try and buff her to give her extra invulnerable save. So yeah, plus one invul. She's good to Goes go. Off. And psychic power, uh, psychic denial. Yes. Yeah, it gets both good. And the Seraphim are going to take to movement. And the, the last thing in the command phase is that you are on one of the objectives, so you get four points there. Yes. That's where they land and you know, come on back off. I'm trying to just spoil stuff over here, dude. <laughs> Moving the Repentia back, the Repentia Superior back towards the Hospitala. And then the Cannoness is going to go up and around. Everyone leaving Harkon World Claimer alone. <laughs> He's going to meet a dramatic end to Meltedens, probably. <laughs> He's going to get right nice and close to that character. Staying more than three away to prevent heroic intervention, though. Don't want free free kills. End of the movement phase. We uh, the the sister the hospital is going to bring back D three Repentia because I assume they're core. Yep, three of them. Nice. You got six models back with her for a command point. D three wounds. And she also heals D three wounds yep. to a, a, a unit or character. Yeah, and unfortunately, she's healed herself, so she can't be healed again. Ah, I see. 
So three, we all back up to full with the superior. Oh, Harkon tried. All the melted guns into Harkon World Claymore. One of them is not within 12. We'll do that one first because it won't have the extra D6 damage. Oh, both hit. Very good. Uh, twos. And sigils. Oh, he makes both his sigils. We still have to survive four more melted gun shots. This and uh, one reroll because the cannon is. Everything hits. Ooh, everything hits. Now twos to wound. Three of them, eh? If I fail even one of these, he's dead. Oh, I made two. Command point. Oh, he lived. And then the Seraphim are going to go ahead and fire at the Legionnaires over here. We're going to risk the supercharged plasma pistol. Ooh, it hits. Wounds on a two because it's supercharged. I do get a five up save against that. Oh, armor contempt saves him. First. 2D, uh, 46 oh, wait, 46, automatic 46, hits. Yep, 46. Yep. Six plus five is 11 automatic hits. And they wound on fours because they're fancy. Minastorm. Oh, Not like it's gonna oh, melt. Jeez, two saves? I got threes. Power armor protects. Then the bolt pistols. Okay, wow. uh, fours to wound. That's uh, one. Does not get through. Everything just uh, whiffed or I made every save. So uh, that's the beauty of a thousand point games then. I guess they're really hard to predict. Okay, well, charging. I charge in to try and take them out or else like, well, I complete the objective if they live, but that's five victory points otherwise. And I guess you'd rather knock a shot at and charged. Yep. Yeah, well, for glory. And your bloody rose, so. Dodge. Oh, it works. They charge in over there, and I assume you don't want to charge in with a hospitaler into Harkon World Claimer. No, not really, no. It's not appealing. Okay, so then we just have that one fight. Superior charges because bloody rose, three attacks. That is two hits. And wounding on fours because I didn't get anything fancy off. Now, those are AP3 because of bloody rose. Oh. So she cuts a, a Stardews down. Cool. Lose a Legionnaire. I always think that's a pretty good accomplishment, killing a superhuman. Uh, the rest of them on three. Sixes are additional hits, though. Yep. Just the one miss. Not too bad. And these are going to wound on fives. Yeah. Kind of cool if they could use their pistols. Be back way back in the day, they used to be able to. Uh, that does wound one. I guess we'll wound the other bolt gun guy. Oh, that guy there. All right. Then I will fight back. I will go with my champion, who's got four attacks with that massive attack cleaver. I hit on fours, though, because you charged me. It stops two hits there, and these wound on twos. Uh, and then these are AP three because of contempt, so you'll have six up. In the I have five up in the Oh, because they're Seraphim. Yeah, yeah five yeah, up in Better active faith. Oh, it matters. Nice. <laughs> That's what it's called. And then the other Marines hitting on threes and wounding on threes. No AP, two wounds. I do. Well, I kill one. Check out the metal model that's on the jump pack because she's a little top heavy. A little top heavy. Down she goes. And that's turn. All right. I have no morale to do. You have no morale to do. Uh, you didn't uh, need to perform any acts of faith, really. It's going to save him for my turn on Leap of Faith there. And uh, so you didn't defend this. Saving Leap of Faith for your turn. And then and we're, we're all tied up. Nephilim Dad is really difficult to do right now. So we are going to go on to my turn four. We both have command points, and you get a miracle die, you get a one. And then the one-to-one -one command points. That means they complete the spoiling this objective, uh, because uh, they weren't killed. Is that, they, they, there's, doesn't matter if there's enemies there or not, they just need to start it when there's no enemies there. And then uh, I go into the command phase, where I have nothing to really do in the command phase, so we're going to go right on to movement. Should note, I do get 12 for the primary, because I'm on three of the objectives. Again, they're obsec, that is theirs. Kind of bother surging, I'd rather kill. Killing would be better. I mean, I could probably realistically to spoil but i think i need to kill again to kill more so we're gonna go on to movement we are going to keep it's a tough call i'm gonna probably keep them where they are uh because we're just gonna sit there and scrap i suppose it's not great for me but it is something i can't hurt you with psychic powers which is fascinating but we're gonna try and beat you up anyways and the raptors jump in this direction i have harkon to move still harkon's gonna jump to there because i want to throw my spear he picked it up he threw it in this direction he picked it up don't totally totally picked it up uh, we're going to go to the end of the movement phase where I don't really have any actions to perform, really. So we're going to go on to uh, shooting instead. Uh, we are going to start with... Oh, sorry, psychic phase. This guy's going to... Oh, he's going to fleshcraft, trying to heal Harkon. It's a five. Might as well try and stop it. We haven't yet, so okay. D3 more... D3 wounds on Har Harkon's up to four wounds. Ooh, wow, huge. And then... Oh, I could have brought a model back. I'd rather... He uh, I'd rather bring a model back. Yeah, bringing a model back is way better. Ah, uh, nah, whatever. I already declared I'd heal him. And then he is going to increase their toughness. He's going to try to. Ah, uh, that's a fail. Okay. And then his last power, Smite. Can't target, can't use it because uh, she's immune to psychic powers. So we're going to go on to shooting. 
We're gonna start with them. They have uh, bolt pistols and a plasma pistol into the sisters. Plasma pistol, not supercharged. That's two hits because of the uh, destruction, uh, the one wound. Only two, only AP2. We do kill one sister of the Seraphim over here. Bloop. And we have two bolt pistols. Bop, bop. That's three hits because sixes are good. We wound three times, no AP. Three ups. Kill one more. Battle sisters. Uh, well, you know what? They're putting up a good fight. Go with the Hell Spear. We're going to target the Repentia with it, so it'll go through the Hospitaller and hit a Repentia. Uh, we hit the Repentia on uh, two. If I can pick up a die. <laughs> you stupid guy rolling once. <laughs> uh, it's not worth a reroll there. I can't imagine. I, I, I know I need my command point for something much more important than that later. So we're going to go on to them firing their pistols. They're going to put the everything into the Repentia, I think. No, it's, I need to split it up a little bit. I need to put a, I need to put a plasma pistol into the, what are they called? The, uh, Retro, the uh, We'll have a melted gun there too, fancy. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and do the, dang, it's a tough call. Cause I gotta, I gotta do damage to both of them. I'll do this one first, crack grenade, that's easy. Grenade, oh, yeah, well we tried. <laughs> no, my plan doesn't matter. We're gonna do, we're gonna do melt a gun into the cannon S because she's the closest. And then we'll do everything else into the, we'll do the plasma pistol there and then the bolt pistols into the Repentia. So can the melted gun hits on a two because she's the nearest for Black Legion. Wounds on a two. And then you have a four up in bowl. Or you can auto pass with her five. You know what, actually that's kind of worthwhile to do. So I'm gonna auto pass that. Boom. You, <laughs> yeah, you just take it from her. Boom. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. I just had to kind of blow that and get rid of it. And then the plasma pistol into the Retributor. Uh, that does miss though, because they're not the nearest. And then the two bolt pistols. Uh, they both hit. That's three hits, actually. And then that's three wounds on the Repentia. All right, so three six-ups. And then they have a shrug. Uh, so nothing from the invol. Oh, nice. Only one dice. Excellent. Boom. Okay, well, that didn't work out either. Oh, the last thing I have are these last cannons in the ruin here. I was trying to get the Repentia down. I was trying to kill her. With I was trying to burn the Act of Faith with the Melted Gun. That worked out because the last cannon would be the same ordeal. And then I was trying to get the... Repentia and the Retributor's down a model as well, but he failed the Hell Spear and I couldn't quite connect the shots I needed. So we tried. So we're gonna do our last cannons into the Repentia Superior. Four last cannons into her. Whew, because why the heck not? Oh, how about four ones? Ah, that's nice. We're on to charging. We'll start charging into the character there with our Psyker. He will charge. Uh, nine. Look at that. A fight. That will charge into the ruins as well, kind of. And then we're gonna charge the Harkon into the Hospitaller and the Retributors. Would you like to overwatch? Mm, I only have one CP, so no. And then charging, nine. Feel charging into both of them there, and then the the Raptors are gonna declare a charge against the Cannon S, as well as the, uh, the Repentia there. Go, Raptors, go. 10, nice, that's pretty good. They're all gonna charge in there. We're gonna use our command point on Vicious Descent, so we're gonna do four Hammer of Wraths against the Cannon S to try and take her with mortal wounds. I have to roll higher than her toughness, which with each model that's in engagement range, and every time I do, she takes a mortal wound. She takes three mortal wounds from the Hammer of Wraths. All right. Oh, we got the doctor nearby to try and shrug him off. Oh, she's alive with one wound. She nice. is. Very good, very good. And we will fight first with those Raptors who charged in. And we are gonna put the, that's a tough call. That is a very tough call. We're gonna do the Melta gun attacking into the Repentia. We'll do the Power Sword attack into the Repentia and then these two attacking into the Cannon S. And by these two, these are two guys with chain swords. Oof. Hitting on twos because we charged. We're rolling ones because of Harkin. And then we got two more hits in there because of Let the Galaxy Burn. And these are threes to wound. Uh, we're rolling nothing because uh, we don't get that. So that is five, seven saves. Looking for three ups because of contempt. She'll suffer two wounds. Got the doctor. We've seen pocket sixes several times in this game from both of us. Ooh, so she does die. We're gonna spend a command point on martyred, uh, which gives you. It I, gives me lots of miracle dice. That's what. Yeah. So it's kind of the same as it was before. Gotcha. Yep. All right. Oh Ooh. no, you don't. It's our first. Uh, it was our first warlord kill. There we go. Our first assassinate kill. It's been a struggle. Uh, I get, we'll, we'll resolve the Miracle Dice and I got a few more attacks into the Repentia. That's at the end of the phase, so we'll resolve these power attacks then first. I don't think it matters the way I do this in. So I got the four power sword attacks and then Buddy with his three clubbing hands. There's six up in bones, so these are twos to hit because we charge. And then we have an extra hit in there. These are threes to wound, no re-rolling. So the seven invulnerable saves on the Repentia. Oh goodness. 
Uh, that is one fail, one pass, and then five up in vulner or sorry, five ups to shrug. Because they don't want to die. They're too pissed off. They there's must just, complete their goal. There's just normal one damage each? Just one. Yeah, there's one. They do get cut down. But get a miracle die. We got rid of the ladies. And then Harkon World Glamour will attack. Oh, they get to consolidate. Should probably do that. Ha ha. Ha ha. Just getting in there. Not attacking though. Put all the attacks in the hospitaler, because uh, I need it gives me lots of victory points to accomplish this, so twos. Uh, no rerolls, but we have two sixes in there. And these wound her on threes with the reroll. So that's five, eight wounds on her. I believe it's minus two with contempt. So she takes se many damage and dies, actually. Yeah. Okay. Uh, roll, yeah. Roll this twice for the damage and mitigation, because they're all two damage each. Yep. She's got four-ish wounds. Oh, she, got, she dies. She dies. Bam. And then you can, uh, then I got this one charge over here to resolve. Master of Possession has five attacks on twos because he charged. That's just all hit because of six. Knock that. And then we wound on twos because we're strength seven. So four saves at three up because you don't care about the AP. We do a second act of faith here to pass the first one with a five. And then we have three saves, uh, which is one fails. And it's D3 damage. That's two damage. So she gets murdered. But you did do two acts of faith this um, on my turn because yep. you passed the invuln. Pass that one over there, so that's worth two victory points. Back. You get fight back with the Repentance Superior and the Retributors. I'm gonna choose to keep him in the ruins there somewhat. Repentance Superior attacking Raptors. Oh, Everything two. hits, plus one. And these are gonna wound on fives, but yep. they're good AP. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wow, not bad, three wounds. Uh, and save in, well, pfft, AP didn't even matter. I, I, you kill one and wound another. So who dies? Who dies? Not the melt again. Probably that guy. And then we'll put a wound on you. Boom. Sorry, this supposed to be base contact, but the, because of the base size. Yeah. Why I'm gonna oh, do my attacks there first? Get attacks over there. Yeah. There's uh. Well, technically that would have been done later. That makes the most sense to do first. Oh yes. Power sword. Got a hit and a wound on a. That not that. And then we have two regular sisters attacking. Ah, they're floundering. Let's I'll retaliate mm -hmm. over here. We got the heavy chain axe. Ah, uh, that's a miss. We got two hits though, because the six. Two's to wound. Two saves at minus three, so five up in bones. Cuts one down. And then I have two regular legionnaires attacking with three attacks each. No AP on them. Okay, that's uh, three more hits because of the sixes. And then these wound on threes. And that is five, six saves. Oh, it kills one. Sister Superior! Okay, not bad. And then the Retributors attack back. Technically, she would go do her damage, then yeah. the Retributors can go. And they're all coming on in. Fours. Not bad, that's two more hits. Yeah. And wounding on fives. That is going to be enough to wound him once. And he'll take a damage. He's got three left. Sorry, a little glary, but he's down to three wounds left. I can't see it at all, that's funny. And that should be it. Uh, could they fail? What's their leadership? They lost. Uh, it's okay, I will choose ah. auto pass my last one. Ah, it's a third victory point. Right. Now for scoring at the end of my turn after the morale is passed over there, that will be the third miracle, the act of faith on my turn, which is worth three victory points on that objective. Uh, for myself, I killed, um, I finished the spoil ground this turn, so that's worth four victory points, so I'm at five for that. The long war, which is an important one, I killed the Hospitaller who was on the objective, and I took it from Trevor, so that's worth three victory points because I killed a character, I killed a unit. And then I killed the Hospitaller and the Cannon Nest, so that's worth seven points for Assassinate because I killed the Warlord. That is the end of my turn, we're on to the last battle round of the game, battle round five. So yeah, we had to resolve a few end of phase ones. The uh, Repentia Miracle died because they died at the end of the phase, you check that, and we have to and resolve. And then I gained for Martyred, it's D3 plus one Miracle Dice. All right. So my D3 number, I'm getting... Two plus three. Three so total. Three up, <laughs> roll three more Miracle Dice. We're just getting four Miracle Dice, awesome. That's uh, so a one, two, and a four. Uh, so the Martyr Stratagem is uh, you gain an additional Miracle Die when a character is killed, but if it's your Warlord, it's D3 plus one. So we got, got quite a bit there. And now we're gonna move on to the last battle round. Well, we're back to one and one command points in turn five. And then the miracle die for the turn is a three. Man phase, done. We okay. have just uh, no one a buff. Pr Priest is killed, Caness is killed, no targets for, I guess she probably targeted herself technically to advance better, but. Uh, no, she can't. Ah, she can't, Never mind. No, she needs to repent you there in order. So she targets them and then she gets the buff as well. Okay, yeah. well that is it. And unfortunately no scoring because I have control of the objectives right now.
Yep. So we're going to use Judgment of the Faithful to uh, fall back and shoot. That's that's fair. I figured there was something like that. They're going to fall back through the wall there Ooh. onto the objective and say, hey, this is uh, ours, and it's been ours the whole time, and then Harkon is now probably dead. So, <laughs> but uh, maybe he can live again. I don't know. I don't know. Keep the Sister Superior in combat. And what about the Repentia Superior? Does she want to stay there and well, keep she's scrapping? she's currently engaged. So, yeah, you know what? She's going to keep scrapping. She's scrapping. All right. Do the pistols, get them out of the way in the exactly. shooting phase? She doesn't actually have a pistol unless oh, I she got two whips. She's too cool for a pistol. Yep. <laughs> so we got a plasma pistol over here. No point in supercharging it. Uh, actually, there is a point in supercharging it. Cause it what? I got a wound. Unless you want to wound on it, too. Actually, you know what? I kind of kind of want to see my miracle dice for making sure I get uh, hits through for him. I see, yes. Uh, actually, well, I moved, so it doesn't really matter. You have a four over there. Yeah, I have a four. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, she's going to just use her. She's going to overcharge her pistol. Maybe she won't kill herself. <laughs> It'd be a dramatic end. Ah, she hits! Glorious! Two's to wound! Ah, and then I have a five up because of contempt. That blows that, <laughs> that blows that legionnaire's head off. Boom and a boom. Alright, we are gonna go ahead and fire the retributors next. We're gonna throw five shots at first and see if we need the miracle die on the last one. Uh, we have uh, th two hits so far, and then you have one more multi melt shot. Technically, you can miracle die it to hit automatically. Three hits done with the miracle die. That's one act of faith performed. And then these uh, three of them are going to wound on twos. Yep. Because uh, I'm only a soft toughness four body. But we've got a sigil of corruption. Maybe that'll help. Uh, well, we got three saves to make. If I fail one of these, I am dead. Uh, so I'll fail two. I, even with the reroll, he'll die. So yes! Harkon takes a, a mortal wound from the mouth of guns. He's got, you know, named character plot armor. He's not dead, but he no, can no longer complete this fight. To have two fights to do, I'll, I get to go first. I will fight first. I'll fight first over here. Screw it. Uh, we've already base contact there, so we'll get pile in, and then we'll pile in. I don't think I can get on the objective and do it, so I don't really mind all the same. So we'll go with them. Power sword has to be done on his own. That's six hits. Man. Because we want to see the galaxy burn. Uh, we wound on three, though, because we're strength five. So three saves at, for you, minus two. Tough power armor. It protects. Ooh, I haven't made uh... Five ups. That is going to be three damage. Not dead yet because she healed the full with the Hospitaller who put in big work this game. We have a chain sword and a uh, regular Raptor to fight with now, luckily, because of Armor Contempt. I don't have to roll them separately. <laughs> Threes to hit, and we want to see the galaxy burn? No, not quite. Not, not these guys, the other guy did though. And then these wound on threes. That's six saves. Three ups. Oh, that's, that's, she dies, she dies. <sighs> Boom, down with the Repentia Superior. And then you get to fight over here. Good luck. You take him out. Use two miracle dice for two automatic hits. Uh, might as well, right? Yep. And then to take out a guy, wounding on fours. Oh, a pair of wounds you could take out a dude. Huh. One dead dude, because it's AP2. So she's going to take out, we're going to keep the heavy chain axe guy. Oh. Hitting on fours. Ooh, only one hit. Two. Oh. Ha -ha. I've, you know what? I have a command point. Screw you. Aha. One five up save. Come on. Is there faith? No. Not faith has left us. Boom. And then consolidate towards the enemy. All right, that is the end of Trevor's turn. I have, uh, well, let me tell you, I don't have a whole lot left. <laughs> I have the last cannons, but not doing anything. Oh, considering, yeah, you know, in your last shooting phase, they whiffed. Yeah, they four ones. Riffed. Yeah. <laughs> last turn, we're both at a command point again. Actually, you might be at, I don't even know if you used the command point. Actually, you fell back, that's right. Yeah. And then you get another I fell back and shoot. And I generate a miracle die, so I generate a two. two. And nothing to do in the command phase. The I've, I move the last cannon team so they can, oh, the last cannon havoc, so they can shoot down the table at the retributors there. So all four of them have line of sight. Let's move that guy a little bit too. And then you've already despoiled ground. You're going to perform surge on this objective. And you're going to despoil this objective. Oh, which because the game will end, it'll automatically complete. Yep. These raptors are going to move into the ruins there. They're going to charge the retributors after the last cannons fire. So we are going to put these ladies down. Maybe. We have one miss. Uh, actually, no. That's the only unit on the table. So it's technically the closest yeah, that, unit. That does qualify as the closest <laughs> unit if they're the only unit available. That's four invulnerable saves. Five ups because it's uh, only AP2 against you. Can they live? Oh, they. that's three dead. Boom, boom, boom. All right, and then because they technically moved first on the objective, that is the end of the game there. So oh. I'll, get 12, I'll get 12 points for the objectives and then two points for completing the surge there. And don't forget, before you hit the post-game show, in the vault, pair with this battle report, the forces of the mighty Ultra Smurfs will be facing the Inead Inari. Check the link down below for a seven-day free trial to the vault to check it out as if Rain and Gulliman go head-to-head. 
All right, so double checking all the points and everything. A few, a few things went really south for the Bloody Rose on the third, fourth, and, and fourth turn. Final score is 89 for the Black Legion, and against 44. It was, it was a few things to talk about was the, it was a nine inch rerollable charge on 3d6 into the Psyker. Really, like losing that Psyker early on would have been really bad for me well, on the third turn there. That was very unfortunate. And then the Melted Guns whiffing against the World Breaker, allowing him to, with the Raptors, to deep dive back in the enemy territory and really start putting pressure over there. And then taking pressure off of my Legionnaires over here on this objective. Uh, and then the, the last games actually performed rather well for me the entire game too. They, they, they had one comical whiff on the one turn, but they were only shooting at a Repentia Superior. But they, they nuked the Rhino. They, they put a lot of pressure on the Retributors, making you having to use command points. Uh, they were the only thing that could put pressure on them because everything else was melee. Yep. And uh, there was like a, there was probably some, the, the fact, the, the only bad thing that happened to me, I recall, is when they didn't kill the Zephyrim and I got tied up for an extra turn. Uh, but I mean, things are already going poorly for you, so that it, that that evened it out a little bit. Then you had that unfortunate turn afterwards. I also had the fact that the hurt that you had guys just far enough back here that I couldn't even deploy into the back to, so I could grab my. Uh, well, my that was that was R part of the plan. I don't want yeah, you to. Yeah, deploy. yeah, yeah. Sure, you keep telling yourself that. But that's that's what you <laughs> w intended to do. But for sure. No, no, no. You only saw that in your plan when you realized that. Oh no, he's actually moving back there. Uh, I better turn to screen. <laughs> yeah, that's so, right. I didn't want the Zephyr or the Zephyr, uh, the the Seraph to get too far behind my line so I wanted to protect back here and then that the, the Raptors were helping to keep them away from this line here so I protected my territory rather well but then we had a big bloody scrap in the middle there so denying my back line uh, hindered retrieve, uh, retrieve Nephilim data so we got we still got four points for that though not the seven and then the defend the sanctuary got six points for it but because I control this at the end it does reduce it to three and then uh, you actually you, you, you maxed pretty much maxed out uh, leap of faith though you got twelve points for it. No, oh, that, that was the plan. I was curious as to why it was limited to twelve points, and I'm like, ah, is it that easy to get? Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's a that's an easy one to get up there. I like that. You don't have to interact with me. You just you just nope. Yeah, it's just pa I, pass acts of faith. You just do your army mechanic. Exactly. You just play your army, and you get like twelve points for that every game. That's crazy. I know. That's, that's awesome. I love that. Uh, I, 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 what it, well, I'm curious what you guys think. Like in, in like playing against it one time. You'd be crazy not to take that one, right? Playing Sisters of Battle? It's it's a pretty, uh, from what everyone has said about it, it's the it's a go-to take oh, yeah. uh, for, mo for most situations. And the reality is that you don't have to interact with your opponent in order to still... You just do your active faith rule. Yeah. That's it. You just play your army. And it's like, even if you have ones, it's the, oh, look, I fire a bolter. I'm going to use a miracle die. I just whip. Burn him. You, get, you get a victory point. Exactly. <laughs> exactly that. It's like the, the, the point is to make a victory point. <laughs> the Emperor decrees I miss this shot for the glory of the mission. Yep. Oh, man. Short term loss, uh, long term gain. That's that's essentially it. I'm, I'm curious what you guys thought of this incursion match. So what, like, is this, the, like, this is my first incursion match with the Nephilim stuff. Is this your first one? This is my first one. Did you feel like it had a lot of action? Did you like Did you like this one? Was it interesting? It, it was definitely like a lot of pressure on that and just. I, it probably would have gone better for me if just certain thing, if the di if the dice gods, you know, had favored me one way or this the other. Yeah, the dice were a lot more impactful in this small scale. They were. Game. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah it, it really. It, failing three saves can, you know, make or break an entire. A hundred percent, like an entire, entire flank, essentially. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Like it's it's I I've always kind of liked the little incursion games, but with the new Nephilim rules, and you're always getting command points, or you're always using stratagems, and you have to be very reserved with it. Uh, and like you know, obviously the changes well, chaos space you, marines. You say that, but at the same time we got up to having four command points at a time each. Okay, so like, getting, yeah, we were reserved at the first. Yeah, so yeah. it's like we were kind of like, there's not a good position here to use our stratagems. Everything's so crap with yeah, no, small units. Let, let's <laughs> sit and wait a minute here. Yeah. And, and then once we, what, it was about turn three that we finally, okay, now go start forward. pushing the stuff. Exactly, that, that's 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 ideally how the game should be. Yes. You should, you should build up to that big, Boom, on turn three, and then let the dust settle and see where you stand. And then the dust settled, and we were still both like scrapping pretty heavily until turn four. It was only on turn five where the game was like, okay, yeah, it's not great for the sisters now, but they put up a hell of a fight. A couple more things gone right for them, and it would have been, actually, I was thinking about uh, conceding on turn three. I thought you had me on turn three there, but it was just so, it just went so poorly on the following turn. Yeah, no. <laughs> now I'm like, okay, well, I got a chance. I might as well keep playing, get back in there. And that's, I guess, the beauty of the uh, 1,000 point games. Anyways, folks, I want you to leave your feedback down below in the comments uh, what you thought about the incursion game. Uh, this one was a byproduct of time. Uh, that we, we, didn't, we didn't have enough time for a full game for for a many different reasons, but but it was also an interesting experience. 
yeah, it try did, out a thousand point it game. Definitely brought an opportunity here that we usually don't get to see. Exactly, and that that I'll always always appreciate that. And I we I felt like we both got to have like pretty fun lists. I liked everything you had in your list, and I like this weird little Harchon list with like Raptors. You don't, you get to play stuff you don't typically see in a you know incursion style game. Arguably speaking, except for the fact that you had Harkon, uh, who was a jump paper tree, our, our, our lists were relatively mirrored. Yeah. We had both two sets of jump paper tree, we had both two sets of troops. Uh, you had a set of heavy weapons, I had a set of heavy weapons. The only difference was that I had a couple more characters than you did, uh, yeah. but uh, and a vehicle. That's but true, they, yeah, it's they, very they close, were, yeah. They were fairly, like, Side by side, it had been this. These almost look like mirror armies. That's uh, that's uh, actually I, I, as I put my army down, I realized that I was very happy with that outcome. I liked it quite a bit. It was uh, interesting. It was in, in every every turn there was a lot of action, and I was actually under. I felt a lot of stress every turn. I remember that. Well, the sisters of battle kind of put that on you, anyways, because they can like a lot of guarantees, a lot of heavy hitting maneuvers, and you just kind of kind of weather the storm and keep scrapping and just like claw your way to the end of the game against them. If yeah, you really. Yeah, essentially. Anyway, folks, we're gonna end the game there. We'll let you get back to your day. Uh, thank you for leaving any feedback down below and I want to thank Trevor for making his way out to play a game with us even though we may have abandoned him upstairs for like a small period of time. We don't need to talk about you're, that. You're though. not going to talk about that. <laughs> Happy Wargaming everybody. Toodles.